Oh. Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Nana speaking and tonight I'm going to be doing these, um, I think, sweet ornaments for Valentine's Day. And so you can change it up with different colors or paper, but uh, I kind of have it all pre-cut some paper I want to use. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get started. And if anybody has questions... Go ahead and uh, ask away. I found this extra cardboard here. I also want to make note that uh, you can actually, this was a pad of paper, and that is a nice strong chipboard on the back of a pad of paper that you can actually make some more hearts. So um, right now I'm going to start to trace because uh, I don't want to be on here too, too late. So I got to work on some of this stuff. So I'm going to trace it. Now, mind you, I just used a piece of paper and cut the shape of my heart out. And then any shape you want, trace it, and then I'm going to cut it out. But since I have this here, I'm going to also do a couple here. Like I said, this was chipboard found on the, the back. It didn't cost me anything. This chipboard is found on the back of a pad of paper. Instead of throwing it out, just keep the chipboard and you can use it for later for other projects. That's what I'd say on that. And I get a, I'm gonna do another one right in here somewhere. Perfect. All right. Oops, I didn't see. Okay. I can't see it. Oh, I can't see it. All right, I'm going to cut these out. Cut these out. Now, the paper I'm doing on, I might have to trim these down a bit because I want them to fit in this these little circles here. That's what I got. And... Um, but you can use any size of paper, and if I have time, I'll do something in a different color, maybe. If I have, if it's not running too late. But I gotta get these painted. It takes a while to dry, so I want to get working on them. Hmm. Yeah, you know, I'm putting that in the garbage. I don't need that. So that's going to be one of the garbage. And this is the point. I want to make sure that it fits between there. See, now it's too deep because I don't want this, any of the edge showing up. So I got to turn it down a bit. All right. Mm -hmm. Let's see. This will work now. See, you still might get some of the edge. I don't want that, so I want it to fit. I'm pretty sure I'm going to check all of them to make sure they all fit. Because I'm going to do them. See, that might be trimmed down. I might have to trim them down just a touch because of this odd circle of the paper. And I don't want the edging, but otherwise, any kind of paper would look great with this. So let's see what we can do. Just trim a little bit down. This word, I don't want any, let's see. Well, it might take some, yeah, it's still gonna trim it down a bit more. Just a little more. Yeah, to trim them all down. I wanna make sure they all fit within that section. Mm -hmm. But I can, I know what can happen. I can trim it once I glue it too. All right, so these are all good. Mm. 
Okay, let's, let's, let's take this off. That's more. That work. Nope. I'm gonna paint them after I think. Uh, I didn't do that the last time. I'm gonna do this a little differently and see what happens. Okay. <sighs> Come on. Make sure. Okay. Let's, let's see if I put the bigger snow. Let's go to go this way. Oh, little trick. Okay. Hi. Thank you for the thumbs up. Whoever that may be. There you go. I'm careful. That'll work. Okay. All right. Hi. How are you? Uh, well, I wouldn't ask you to talk then. If you're pulling your hair right again, you need to take a break. It's okay. Probably a good idea. Must be a tough clock today. Must be a tough clock. Make sure I fit this nice because I want to get part of the butterfly on here. So let's see. Yeah, let's see. It's going to be good.
Uh, hi, Nick. I forgot to come and watch. Oh, that's all right. It's all good. It's all, don't worry about it. If you come, it's appreciated. And if you don't, it's all right. I want to trim it a little bit so it gets nice in here. Okay. Gotta make sure I got it the right way. You know, this way. Tell me if it gets too loud. I'm going to have to use the, the the blow dryer eventually. You just found my stream. Hey, MT. It goes, na 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 I joined your stream last night. Oh, did you? Make sure I get the part of the butterfly in there. Yeah, hopefully it'll work. Well, thanks for the thumbs up. Thank you. This could take me a while to do. They, I had to practice. It took a while to make one of these, but then they come a little bit easier as you do them. So see how many I can make. So far, I've been on 13 minutes. I want to see how long it's going to take me to do these. I'll put it this way. Okay, let's see. Okay. All right. Well, I don't have enough paper for that because if I had time, I'll do some more. But if not, these are the main ones I want to do anyways. This would make me have six. This one. I got my little I got my little scissors here too, but I'll use this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, what'd you say? I finally have a place to chat. I was here, but no place to type in chat. Okay, well, yeah, just, um, I'm glad you can do it now too. Are you rubbing luck on them? Yeah, I'm rubbing luck on them, that they stay stuck. I'm rubbing the luck, hopefully it'll stay stuck to the chipboard. Yep, so far so good. There they go. Hi, Miss Southern Bell. Hello. You miss me. I had your shirt on yesterday. I did a live stream, a cooking one, and I wear your I wore your t-shirt, but you weren't there to say hello to. Oh, 
Oh, that's all right. I just wanted to show you. It's all right. Like, I'm not saying that because I'm upset you weren't there. I'm just telling you, I wanted, I went out of my way to wear it to say, look, see, I wear your shirt. You made me. That's why. Not nothing to do with, I don't care that you weren't there. It's fine. It's just, uh, wanted you to make a wear and I'll wear it again. I'll wear it another live stream. I'll wear your shirt. Um, Wait, that's good. I gotta smooth that out a little bit. I don't like it. Uh, I was trying not to get up at all, but I might have to get like my little nail file if I find it too rough on the edges. I don't like that. Uh to take a shower probably at the time you went live. Yeah, that was yesterday though. That was uh I went today, but yesterday I had your shirt on. Today I have my Arizona shirt on. Uh go Arizona. The shirt looked very nice on you, and the white sweatshirt was a nice touch. My, no, it wasn't a sweatshirt. It was a sweater, but thank you. It was a sweater. I don't, I don't, I wear the hoodies and I wear sweaters, but I don't wear a sweatshirt. Not normally. That's my definition. A sweatshirt is one where you have to slip it over your head, and I don't like them. Right? Close enough, though. I'll give you credit. Close enough that you noticed. So obviously you, you were there or, or you came back to check what I was wearing. Something like that. I'm not sure. There we go. Um, it was yesterday. I was in need of one. Oh, were you in need of my... No, you can't have my sweatshirt. I only have one. Uh, this is Southern. I am from... Okay. That is Southern. I am from Tennessee originally. Now I live in Missouri. There you go. So I, whew. yeah, I have one sweatshirt that you sent me. I actually like the color. I, I had a sweater with it and I, it looked kind of nice. I did like it. Like Mike said, it looked nice. I, I liked it. The color really popped. The design popped on it. So I like it. And I just wanted to prove how I like it. All right, I gotta. There. I'm gonna put a little bit of pinky around these, anyways. See, there you go. It's not too bad so far. I don't like ones you pull over your head. Also, I I still call them sweatshirts because of the material they are made of. Yeah, okay. All right, that's fair. That is fair. But my favorite one, that's the sweater I wore. That's one of my favorite ones. But I also like my hoodies. I love I love sweaters and hoodies. Yep. I want them cold. Today it's nice. It's cold outside. There's a lot of snow. But I don't, I was really cold yesterday. So that's why I put the hoodie on. It was freaking really cold in my house. There we go. Look at that. We'll see. I don't know how many I'm going to get done. But uh, I got a couple more if I want to cut them out here. Um, shower, you got to hit it one here. Their iron hit hot there. Wait a minute. Shower, you got to hit it one. Hit one. They're from hit hot here. I think sweaters are made of yarn. Yes, they are. No, no, no. That's not the definition. A sweater is a sweater as long as it has a button down. No, I don't think necessarily you have to have it out of wool. Um, if somebody wants to correct me, I don't think that a sweater has to be made of the wool to be considered a sweater. I don't think so. I don't think so. Okay, this is a little dark pink, but uh, nonetheless, I'm going to use it. That's what I did on the other one. So, yeah. I got my batteries. You got your batteries? I have one. You pull over your head, and that's marvelous. Oh, you like the one that pulls over your head? It's marvelous. I am sorry you are wrong. This <laughs> no, I'm not. A sweater is not necessarily defi defined as knitting or crocheting. No, you want to Google that, somebody? I don't think I don't think he's right. 
<laughs> I don't think so. I think you're wrong. Hey, Christina. Hi. How you doing? You see what I'm doing? Hmm. The last time, this is what I learned from when I did this other craft. I actually painted the whole thing, then I moved the paper on and I went, well, you don't really see the pink anyway, so what's the sense of doing it like that? So I am doing it this way. Um, oh, I'm making the little uh, Valentine ornaments. You used the word not necessarily. Oh, not is that a bad word? I'm sorry you are wrong. <laughs> I use not necessarily. All right. That means you could or are wrong. <laughs> uh, I, I'm, what are you, I eating dots? You're eating dots? Are the ice cream dots? That's what you put. I'm, I eating dots. So you must be eating dots. Not that I'm trying to correct your grammar. Because I have, I'm good at it too. When I'm typing in people's channel, I make typing mistakes. But are you eating the ice cream dots? I should say. Uh, I'm eating Valentine's dot. Oh, there's such thing as a Valentine dot. I didn't know that. That's interesting. There's a Valentine dot. Like dots. Yeah. No, she's saying. There's ice cream dots, there's candy dots, and apparently there's Valentine dots. Okay. We're on the same page, aren't we? I think, though, I think we're on the same page. All right. I'm trying to show you as I paint, but it is awkward. Hmm. Huh. You know, I should actually pour this out, but I hate dirtying a plate or something. I put it on and then I got to wash it. So I just like taking it from the bottle. Well, hello. Who are you, little bit Elias? A little bit Elias? All right, let's see. Um, I like seeing you paint. Raise the camera. No, you just want to see my shirt. No, you don't. You want to see my shirt. And remember, that this will bug you anyways. If I'm not right on, you're meticulous. So it drives your, your OCD drives you crazy. I said it right. Oh, good. Okay. Oh, I don't want to dirty my pages. Okay, this is gonna, you know, I don't know why, but it's going on really nice tonight. Like, um, I love the hearts. Well, thank you. Thank you. They're little ornaments. So, um, they remind me of the pink. I was gonna go lighter, and then I went, well, it's a little dark compared to the front of this paper, but I, I like it. Reminded me of the candy dot, the candy hearts, and they're both that color pink. So I kept it and used the same pink to do these ones too because I like it, I like the deep pink. Um, your blue green shirt looks very nice on you. Oh, cause you, well, well, thank you. This one here, yes. Thank you very much. You just, <laughs> I could say something, but I'm gonna keep it nice. But thank you, Mike. That's I really appreciate that. My shirt looks nice. Thank you. Um, I sent Mike a picture and and message Facebook. Oh, did you?
Is he enjoying it, I hope? Hope he's enjoying that picture. Funny, I just read your mind. <laughs> I bet you did too. <laughs> I bet you did, Mike. Me and you. It's been a while. I don't know if we're on the same path, but uh, I think we might be. <laughs> uh, Mike. Mike, 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 what are we going to do with you? This is really beginning to be a pain in my butt because the, the size of the brushes is. Um, oh, well. I'm going to continue working with this, and i got to do a couple coats on this. I got my hair dryer. You tell me if it's too loud, on, and I'll shut the volume off. Okay, I don't want the front of that. Oop. Can't take that off. That's okay. I want to edge this anyway. So, um, she's she's tough. <laughs> I'm tough. Uh. <laughs> Actually, that's really funny. <laughs> Sorry if I'm tough. I don't think so, but okay. I am tough. I mean business. I'm scaring people. All right. <sighs> yeah. It's drying fast tonight. When I was doing this yesterday, I think there's too. It was damp in the house, and it uh, really took a long time to dry these. They weren't drying very good. But I want to do it. I'll let these totally dry, and then I'll come back and do another coat. And I think that might be enough, actually. I just. It's just a picture of candy. Oh, oh, okay. No, I wasn't even thinking about that. Don't you worry. I wasn't even thinking of what you said, Mike. Um, it's all okay. That's between you and Mike, and I'm good. Don't worry about it. I was thinking of something else, Miss Southern Bell. But thank you for telling me. Yeah. All right. There we go. Um, I'm gonna da, 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 da. even if I put it down here because I got more, I could paint these pink, so I'm not gonna worry about that. I'll leave that here for now. And I want to shake this up a bit. Shake, 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 shake. Okay. I'm gonna mop. I, I moshed paused it before, and I think what I'm gonna do. This time I'm, I'm doing it a little bit differently than I did last time. Hey, Leanne, I'm doing it a bit differently because last time I actually painted the whole heart and then I put the paper on and then it was taking forever to dry. And this is much better what I'm showing you here, how I'm doing this. Okay, tell me if this is too loud. I'm going to just uh, put on low. Oh, it's, a, oh, it's not going on. It's not going on. Come on. Are you using plastic for a hurt or chipboard? Ah, oh, you should have been here. Chipboard. I have my chipboard, Leanne. And um, hang on a minute. Just, uh, that's, uh, actually, that's really good. It's drying really well tonight. I'm very happy with that. All right. So what happens is it's chipboard, and you can put two cereal boxes together, yes. Or actually, I found this. I wanted to show you. For you, Leanne, this was a, at the back of paper pads from the Dollar Tree. 
or Dollarama for us. You get this herd. That's chipboard. And so I'm using, I, I had the leftovers from the chipboard I bought, but I also found this chipboard. So I don't have paper right now. If there's enough time and I'm not running too late, I'll probably find some paper to do that. Sorry, I'm not talking if I am watching the Chiefs football game. Go Chiefs, go. Okay. Uh, yeah, touchdown. No problem. All right. So let's do another coat. That should do the trick, actually. It looks like I did lots of coats last night. And because this is drying so much better, I don't think I have to do that many coats. It's starting to look nice. All right. Uh, all right, let's go do this. Well, I'm going back out to tackle the clock again. Wish me luck. Okay. Wish you luck later. All right. Wish you luck. Come, if I'm still here, come on and tell me how your clocks went. That's all I'll say. Luck to you. Oh, my lace over there. I want to make sure I don't get this dirty. My lace. Um, good luck. Yes. Yeah, good luck, birthday boy. All right, that's drying really nice. I'm very happy with this tonight. It's going really smooth. I thought this might take me way longer and um, it's nice, nice what's going on here. Sometimes things don't work out when I'm live streaming and this feels okay tonight. Okay. Uh, can you show the label? on the pink paint or is it again no no i'll show you i don't think it's against it i'll tell you what the name is um i don't think it's again just in case it is i don't know it's called tutti fruity and you get this at that the color is tutti fruity leanne and for us we can get that it's at um dollarama it's a, a staple at dollarama so i'm sure they can find something similar to this color if you didn't have tutti fruity it's a really nice pink so, and if I got time, I'll try this flower in a different color, but this is the one I really liked. I have a lot of red stuff and I just thought it'd be cute to um, add a little pink stuff to my decor I have for ready for Valentine's Day, but I might come up with a, a different one. Thanks, Chris Christina. Thank you very much. Uh, tutti fruity, cool. I don't, I don't have pink any. Uh, I don't have any pink. Yeah, it's tutti fruity, and it's only like a dollar twenty-five at um, uh, Dollarama. They don't have Dollarama in the states, but I'm sure they can find something closer to that if, if you really wanted to do this. Uh, let me be careful. So two colors is not bad. I did like several colors last night. The paint was not drying for me. 
And I, my mistake was I painted on both sides. So that was a really bad mistake. I never should have did that. And I'm happy to show you the right way because I have to draft my projects out first. Um, it's a lot harder coming online and trying to figure it out than it is making one offline and then come back. I'm going to dry it again. So shut your ears. Why did you tell me? Yeah, they have, they have different kinds of brands. That's right. make sure because you see the side I want to make sure I, I got all the sides nice because you do see the sides when I glow to glue the ribbon on so I want to make sure all the sides are nice so that looks all right Okay. Oh, I, I know who, who's here that wants to go to the cooking thing. Um, the next cooking class, Linda, I have to tell you, and I got to tell everybody, I forgot my mom does therapy on Tuesdays and Thursdays. I forgot all about it. And it's from two 30 till three. So there's no way I have time probably to do it live. I have to make it Wednesday. If you're listening to me, you guys, if you want to join my cooking live stream where I'm going to make kind of a taco salad, but we're going to try to make it locale the best I can. Um, that's going to be Wednesday, not tomorrow, because I, I keep forgetting about I, I take her to therapy. So there's no way I can do a live stream right from after coming back. I won't have time. So did you, just make sure you, you hear me. You guys hear me? Can you yeah, tell me you, you, you heard that? I'll pass it on as I go throughout the night. Um, hey, Leanne, you're so good at typing. Do you mind that to say that I'm going to be cooking a taco salad um, on at 3 p.m. Wednesday? Uh, I'll, I'll be live craft, live cooking at 3 p.m. on Wednesday. I have to put that to make sure not Tuesday because I said Tuesday and I can't. I, and remind me the next time I ever offer to do a live stream, don't let me do it on a Tuesday and a Wednesday at 3 o'clock because I have to take her to therapy. There's no way I have time. I will be working on my um, some locale recipes too until I get enough. I want seven supper recipes that are locale and seven uh, lunches. And the rest is just going to be cereal or dip toast or whatever, what I come up with. But I want to do a like a weight loss plan thing for seven days and I'm going to try working on it and see what happens. It looks pretty good. Let's flip them around. That's what they look like. Doesn't look too bad, right? Now I think I, I actually at this point I air, I'm ahead like this, this is good what I'm doing. I'm doing it a little differently because by now I had the mosh podge, but I want to put holes in them, and it was really hard to do a hole. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm going to take my kit here. All right. There's my little things. All right. Let me get this out of here. I had it all neat and then I made a mistake. Put try to put things in and it all fell out. Okay, so I'm gonna make a hole here, and that's how I'm gonna tie it in. But I have to get the smaller one. Here we go. All right. So they are. Grom, grommets, grommets, grommets. That's what they are, grommets. Grommets. Thanks, Leah. All right, see if I can. I'm going to put uh, a hole this time right here, and I'll mark it. This will be much easier for me to see. And I'm going to make a hole with on the, uh, what side is that? It's, let's see. 
it's very small. Where's the measurement in here? Uh, trying to see where it says the size because I can't read it. But it's a really tiny one. And I'm going to use a, a, a small grommet. Hey, Cliff. Hello. All right, let's start right there. Okay, I got to make the hole first. All right. Let's go through. And that's not going through what's going on here. Did it go through? Okay, it doesn't look like it, I made a hole, but it must have, let's see. No, I didn't. Why didn't I make a hole? What is going on here? Okay, let's try this. Hmm. It's just the bottom. I should have made a hole, I didn't. Let make the hole very big. What is going on? It's not working for me. It's not that one. Is it this one? Maybe I don't have the right bottom hookup. Hang on a minute. I gotta make sure it's going in right. It's not making the hole very good. I get a hole then. All right, let's practice on something because it's not make function a hole, right? Nope. That's it. Not locked in. All right, come on. The hole is there, but it's not punching it through. I don't know why. I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna go to the. I don't. I need that little hole. I'm gonna switch heads to see. All right. This is too big. If this one works. Okay. Okay. Why is it not working? It's not making the holes. Okay, let's try this one. I had no problem. It was working yesterday. I don't know what's why it's, I'm having a hard time today with that. All right, try this one. It's still not making the holes. What the heck is going on? Oh, I'm a dummy. I know what I'm doing wrong. Oh my gosh, it, I gotta use this oh, right here, the, the cutting part. What the heck was I doing? I don't know. I don't know. Wake up. I have to cut it with this edge. I don't know. Um, but that's why it's hard to see where you're cutting it. Okay, I gotta take it out of view. I gotta see if I can see it with my glasses. That's the part I had a hard time with. There, it's a little crooked, but okay. There it is. So me. It's really hard to see it when I try to punch the hole. Maybe I need better glasses. No, it's the uh, well. Anyways, I know you typed this after I figured out my problem here. You gotta. It's right down here, but it's hard to see to line it up. Well, that's a little better. They'll be fine though, right? So the, the, the little holes a little sideways it should be okay. It's hard to see it. That's better. Right, 
in there. Trying to line it up, but boy, is it hard to see. Yeah, that's not bad. All right. I'm getting a little senile, obviously. I forget. It's been a while since I used this <laughs> since yesterday. <laughs> ah, boy, oh boy. Come on. Uh, you look spot on from here. Oh, yeah, it's not bad. There's one a little crooked, but the rust is good. Okay, so this is where I put the grommets on. Grommets, grommets. And that I did the wrong stupid thing. I put the grommets go with this thing. I don't know. I was crazy anyways. Okay, so let's see. I put white on the other ones. Uh, so I'll probably stick to white, but I can use other colors. But um, See, I mean, technically I could use a pink one. Uh Let's see. Use a pink one. Oh. Come on, get in there. Now you're gonna give me a hard time. That should fit in the hole. There we go. What do you think of the pink? Pink's kind of cute too, eh? It looks well, I, I'm looking at the pink. Uh, I can do back and forth. It really doesn't matter. White's cute. What's I got? White. Actually, even this color is kind of cute. Really, uh, so I can get it in there. Well, I like the white and the pink. I don't really like the dark color. I think this is too dark for it. So I'm taking this one out. Get out of here. There we go. Pink looks, looks yeah. I don't like the black. Yeah, me either. I took it out. Pink's cute, though. And I got a lighter pink. Uh, let's show a lighter pink on this one. It almost blends in a lot. So that looks, there's different color. And the next one I get. There's a. First pink I see. There we go. There. Okay. All right. Oh, tr no, red wouldn't go in. It's too strong, Christina. Uh, red is really too strong for a pink color. I don't know. I, I don't know. I guess. I guess. Let me see. I'll put a red one in. It's fine. We'll try it out and see. I can do red. Let's. You want to see red? I think red pops out too much, but let's try red. What do you think? See, this is the pink. That's the red. I, I personally think that the red is too strong, but um, I'm going to take it out because, yeah, I think it's too strong. I don't mind the white or pink, but the red, too strong. Okay, now, spin up as I go, and I'm going to tighten these up now. You ha Did you ever do one of these? Did you guys ever worked with grommets in that? I keep calling them grommets. They're grommets, but little ones and big ones and grommets. Have you ever used this machine before? All right, let's hope this works now. 
So you got to go on here and go here. And I just don't know if I have the right backing back here. So we're going to find out. Well, I don't like the way that is. Let's try this one. That is a little bit better. These are kind of squishing down the ramets. They look okay. I mean, no one's going to go. I don't lose points because the ramets a little squishy. But um, I don't know what else. That's the best one I got. Well, let's try this one. Oh, that's not bad. That's not. Oh, that's actually the best one. That head. It's nice. Okay. Got to remember which one goes with which. All right, that's better. That's way better. Okay. These, what do you think, though? They look all right. They're not perfect, but they look cute, right? All right. Let's see, I'm going to, I got to close this. Hang on a minute. Let me lock it. Where's my locking button right here? There. Now it's locked. And I'll just put it out of the way because I might use it again. So I have all these ones. And next what I'm going to do is I'm going to got my ribbon here. Right here. And I'm going to use my glue gun. Do I have it on yet? No, I didn't plug it in. I'm going to plug my glue gun in. And I'm going to heat that up. That's next what I want to do. Hey, Cliff, or Cliff, I'm calling you Cliff. Hi, Bill. Cliff. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, I'm a losing it tonight. Okay, these are going to get, basically, I got to wait till it's glued and it's going to go all the way around. And then I'll write my message on after, and then I'm going to mosh podge them all to seal them in. So I'm doing it a little bit differently, but I learned by what I was, uh, I'm going to call you whatever. I called you Cliff and Bill and whatever. You'll take it, won't you? <laughs> whatever your name is. It's one of those names. All right. Sorry about that. Hey, sorry about that. All right. I'm going to actually I gotta flip them this way because the glue is going to go like that. It's going to be like an assembly line. What I'm going to do, All right? And the part goes up here. Then they're going to go all the way around and do all these. Yeah, whatever. Whatever his name is. All right. Well, you can see it's too hard. <sighs> okay. Well, how's it going, you guys? What's going on? And I am doing what I said. I am doing my Valentine's craft. Thank you, Leanne, for posting that. And I'm going to need some help, Leanne. Uh, I'm, I asked Misha to come and help me. Maybe I need you, too. We, we'll need to figure out... I need to figure out calories, how something... So we got it kind of like uh, when I do that, I got to figure out, okay, if I'm using four potatoes, a small potato, how many calories is considered a potato times four, then you have to add whatever I put into ingredients, you have to find out what the calories are. And then you have to take the total of that and divide by how many portions that I, I'm going to say, if it's four or five portions, then you know that if you take a portion of whatever we're having, like a salad, um, if it's one, one serving, which will be. I have to divide, like, if I do a pound of hamburger and I put, like, whatever, I divide a quarter cup of hamburger or whatever uh, measurement that is, I got to find out how many calories is the hamburger, how many is the, the dough pert that I'm doing, how many, the lettuce, uh, a little bit of cheese, and uh, tomatoes, and uh, salsa, and if I put sour cream. So I have to figure out how many, how many calories this actually taco do, because I'm trying to get it down that it's a light taco. 
and uh, you don't, it's not too many, too many um, calories is what I'm aiming for, for anybody and myself for sure. So if I can get that started, there we go. We're ready to rock. We're ready to rock and roll. Let's go get it, Tiger. Shoot. So make sure it's overlapped. I don't like that edge on it. So it's going to move over. Cross this over a little bit. Yeah, no, I thought you had put the no, it came this way. It's just a pretty lace. You could put your own sequences if you didn't, you had lace. And you had the sequences, you could do that. But no, I had this this lace. So you can put whatever kind of lace you want. I'm doing them like this. And then I might, depending on how late it is, I might come back and do something else to um with the other ones. Let's see. I don't like exactly this is gonna get lowered because I don't like how that is. All right, let me finish this part and then I'm gonna come back and finish the stuff I don't like. Like this either. I just trim here. all this myself here. It's this part. I don't particularly, I'm going to fix this because I don't like it. If, even if I got to chop it, I will. But I don't like how this one is at the top here. I want it to come down. Even if it's over my hole and I got to fix the hole. Yeah, I don't like it. I'm going to... That's over there. I don't like it either. a little better and all I gotta do if you need the hole which I gotta fix the hole oh I can just chop it here too I can actually go here just make sure 
Is this glued down right? And then I'm not in the way of the hole. Just trim it a little bit. Make sure I like this. So I have to do a bunch of these. Um, what did I want to do? Just to finish this one off, but I got to do the rest of these anyways. And I still don't like that. And I don't have the best scissors, but turn that off. And I'm going to, because my printing's not great. I, this is what I always do. If I you don't have excellent printing, and I'm going to come back and kind of figure out where I want to put this. So I'm going to go X in, in a pencil. So I'm straight it. It's like I'm crooked here. I am not enjoying what I'm doing here right now because I'm cricket. But I can come back and touch it with paint, whatever I don't like anyways. But uh, where is a, it's like I, I, I'm blind here tonight. I, mean, I need something straight. Uh, what do we got? How are you, wait a minute, how are your supplies holding up? Seems you have a lot left to work with. Um, well, I got supplies, yeah. I haven't really been crafting lately, and I bought these some of this stuff I have for years, so I guess I'm okay. This is what I'm gonna do. I don't like this, so I'm gonna go take a board. At least I know it's gonna be straight if I do this, and I'm gonna go X O X O. All right. A little bit straighter. Yeah, I don't know. It'll live. And then I can mark with my marker. X. O. X. A. So you can really see it. All right, and well, that's what I'm gonna do. All right, let's just finish this one, but I got all the other ones to finish. And I'm gonna take my, um, whatever kind of string I want. All right. All right, let's see if I can get this through. Not mess around here. All right, where are you? Where's my string? It's here somewhere. Come on. There we go. It's too fat to put it through.
There you go. It's got stuck underneath the glue part. There we go. Now, once I get this done, I can fix the back again. But All right, there we go. There we go. Cut it roughly here. And I want it to be, it's got to be long enough because if you go to hang it on something, if the string's too long, it's going to get caught. So we're going to go here. I just want to match up roughly how tall that screw string is. Uh, what'd you say? Be back? Uh, no problem. You guys. Go ahead, do what you got to do. You know I got to finish these, so I'm just hanging here. All right, so that's my original one. That's the same paper, but a different spot of the paper. Um, and all right, let me go over here. All right, and that looks okay, right? Because I want to do, I have something else. I have little hearts, and I have... Put in the little uh, flower there this time. Let's put that in there. Well, who's here? White or pink? What do you look like better? And I'm going to put a little heart here too, but I only have so many colors of hearts left. So, um, what do you think? Pink or these little flowers, white? Um, either? Okay. Oh, I thought you took off. I should have a garbage bag, and, and it'd be really nice when I'm done this to clean this mess up. Okay. They're about the same? Okay. I wish I had some different color hearts, but I only, unfortunately, have yellow. So, like, you can put, I can do whatever I want. Put it here. Uh, put it here. Here. I can put two hearts. What do we got here? That's I only have dark and yellow hearts. I, I wish I had different colors, but I don't. That's I have that that's the same color. And yeah, same. Oh, it's a little smaller this hurt. Let's try this. This is a little smaller. Something like that would work, I guess. Okay. I am not going to mosh podge these until last. I want to get them all done. And then I'm going to mosh podge them. And then, like I said, how, oh, I'm already on an hour. I can't believe I've been on that long. Wow. Okay. Um, and I only, I don't like hot gluing it. I use this kind of glue because I'm going to mosh podge it. So I'm going to do this. I might use this one because I want it to stay down, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna come and mosh podge all this. I seal it in after. All right. I was thirty minutes late. You're thirty minutes late for a very important date. I'm just kidding. No, I just said hurry back, not be right back. Okay, hurry back. Okay. All right. So let's. Uh, I'll ask you some questions what you think after, but I got, this is done, and I might touch it up, but, uh, right, this is not bad, right? There's the one. 
and I will mosh posh. I even mosh posh the lace because I'm trying to keep it looking nice. Um, and if I don't like some, I'll come back. But that's the original one. All right. So now I'm going to have to come and do all of these. It's the corner. I'm going to have to be careful when I do the lace. So. Are they romantic? All right. I got to go in deeper. I don't want, okay. I don't like the fact that I might have to pull this off, but I'm going to do this because I don't, I want to go in deeper. I don't like how that lined up. So let's go back here and try it again. There. That's better. I don't really want to see any of the edging. All right. I'm going to go here. And then I'm not going to overlap it too much like I did that one. I'm going to go, let's see. I just got to make sure that it sits low, but I might have to make the hole again happen. All right, let's see. Yeah, I like that better. All right. Hey, Christina, I might, how many stitches do you know how to do? I want to do that too later. Um, if you're still listening, I want to, I'm going to start uh, doing some stitches, like, like beginner stitches, even for me, it's not just for everybody. Anybody wants to learn how to, to do some uh, crocheting or I'm going to do some basic kind of stitches. Uh, what happened when you mosh podge at least it gets stiff a little bit. Yeah, it gets stiff. Yeah. Yeah, that's what it's, and it stays like, I, I like protecting. It's kind of a seal. So when you go to dust them, um, they got a coat over top of them. I mean, you could spray it, but I kind of, I don't mind doing, protecting the lace that way. Let's see. That one's faster. See, so you can get a little faster. Um, like I said, I'm going to mosh podge them all. I'm going to get all the lace done, all this the finished, and I'll mosh podge them, seal them. And uh, then they'll be ready to rock and roll. All right. So it looks better, a little smoother. <sighs> so, yeah, I want to know. I don't know if she's listening. If Christine, Christine, if you're listening, I don't know if you're, uh, you're watching something else, but um, I'm going to come back. And uh, I'll put string on before. Make sure it goes all the way through. Okay. I 
have to get something to poke this because I want to make sure I don't have an issue with the string again. And I can throw some stuff in the garbage. So that is always a good idea. Okay, so I'm gonna get some of that in because I just washed the floor today and now I'm going to clean up the floor tomorrow. All right. So I want to know if Christine's listening about doing some uh, stitches, basic stitches. I'm going to do it. I don't know if anybody wants to fool around with me to do some stitches, crocheting and knitting stitches. All right. I want to get that. Make sure I go all the way through with my needle. There we go. Uh, I had to say my string, but anyways. Uh, can she join? You want a live? Um, it'd have to be StreamYards, and I don't know if she wants to do that because Christina doesn't normally do that kind of live. I don't know. Uh, 222 is a year we learn crochet. Did you want to learn how to crochet though? Leanne? Trust me, I'm not, I'm basics and that's how you learn from some, like I can't, I go slow because I'm going to go slow because I forgot how to do it. Um, so you, I'll show you the basics and then I'm going to learn some stitches. So you kind of actually have to learn how to put it on the needle first. Um, and then you have to, oh, I'm making a little bit of mess here. And then you have to, um, from there, learn stitches. And I want to, I saw something I want to do. I want to, I did popcorn stitches a long time ago. I just have to refresh some of the stitches. And so here we go again, pretty long, right? Let's match it up just roughly. Let's make sure my strings are uh, strong. Oh, I don't, okay, yeah, yeah, wait a minute, yes, na my glasses, yes, Nana, I told you, uh, I took my, I don't remember, okay, you might have told me, you know that I, I have a, I don't always remember everything, but uh, you, you probably did tell me, Leanne, it does not surprise me, I will not go against that, all right, I might shorten these after, but they're going to go like that, I got mixed cu up, because I left Hand and I wanted to do both hands parts on. Yeah, can you do right handed though? Because I don't know how to do left handed, but might, we might be able to figure that out. I've never done left handed because I'm not, that's not, but if you're left handed, you still might be able to do it. You just have to adjust. And I don't know that for 100%, but I'm pretty sure you could. I don't know why you didn't. Okay, what's the next one I'm going to do? I am going to. Oh, yeah, I wanted puppy love. I have to do this pretty big. P U P P Y. So what's the double? Oh, it's P. All right, I gotta put the letter in here. It's P Y. Here we go again, because you know how crooked I, I am. I I think I squares between my glasses. I'm 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 writing things crooked, and I'm not the greatest printer, but. Um, I'm going to do this first. If you don't know how to print like uh, me, this is what I suggest. You kind of rough draft what you want to do first. All right, puppy. And then love is L-O-V-E, so i got to go over here. L-U-V-E. That puppy love. I'm going to move my big marker. Hopefully I won't run out of space. All right. L U V E That's I owe this one to you. That's I owe you this one. You came this up with this one. Oh, by the way, another reason 
I got to use Mod Podge. I want to tell you something that goes on. When you use Magic Marker and you spray a sealer over top of this, Magic Marker will leak all over and make a mess of your project. I don't know if you know that, but it will. Let that dry. Hey, Barb. I am making some Valentine ornaments. I got a couple. I might come up with another thing I saw. And I, I saw it on a channel that uh, as a friend, Davida. And I might do something similar to what she did. So I might have two projects uh, for Halloween. Not just one, but two. All right. This is kind of pretty. Do you think that's too much on a pink? Does that pop too much? There's my color. Right, and there's the back. What do you think of the purple? I want to put it over right here, I think. I might not even put up two hearts. I have a choices of a heart. Um, I can put these hearts here, too. Let's see. All right. I have this. I can do the heart just at the end there. Or I can do a flower. Um, good. Good. You like the contrast, this one here? Yeah, I kind of like it too. I think I'll play with that. I will do that one there. All right, we are going to glue this down. Oh, it's a little messy, but yeah. Yeah, I like it too. I agree. I like people's opinions on this, so I'm not standing alone on this baby. But um, so I have two projects. I want to come back with something else. And uh Leanne, depends on how late you stay with me and how long I feel like being on. I might pull out my crochet hook because you said it was your grandma. Let me see. It was crochet. Which one were we talking about? Because I do both. Um, and crocheting, I want to crochet the popcorn stitch after, which I want to make garland and stuff. I realize it's kind of early and talking Christmas, but you know, that's me. I talk about Christmas and get things done. So I might make um, a garland, a popcorn garland. I saw it. Um, who was it? Oh, it was Cliff's, um, Cliff's wife made it and they showed me and then I started looking it up and I might make that. I'm kind of excited to make that one too. So all right, that's a little off. I want to be picky with my lacing. Let's, let's see what this looks like. Yeah, that's better. All right, there we got two. Wait, I'll put this be mine here over here. So you see, that's the back. I guess you can see it all, can't you? Yeah. All right. And get my lace back. Um, what do we got? Yeah, the embellishment can stand out. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're going to do some different ones of different lines. All right. I really think, though, and if you think about it, the reason I took this color was this, you could use this other than for Valentine's Day. You could actually do this. You know what I mean? You could, you could put this up and leave it up because it's not just – Connecting with Valentine, that's my opinion on it anyways. I think you could use it on different holidays. Or let's say you want to give it to your mom, for instance, or whoever, somebody you really love, and you want to give her a nice thing. She doesn't have to take it down after, Hall after Halloween, after Valentine's Day, because it's not totally red. It's just the heart. It's uh, a different color with different paper. Uh Okay, is the back side paper or material? It's paper, but you could do material. I didn't do that, um, Barb. You could absolutely do material, but I did paper. What happened was Leanne asked me, seeing it's off again. I'm getting picky here, but I don't like it when it shows the end. So if I don't like it, I'm going to take it out, and i got to be careful. I'm just ripping it, and that's not what I wanted to do. I will. We will. I will fix this. I just think it sticks out too long, and I don't like it. The end. So I'm going to come back over here. Okay, move it in. That's better. It covers up the mess anyways. That's better. I don't like that lace edging coming out. I don't like seeing it, the line here. Um. So yeah, this is paper. And what you can do is you probably could use material for sure. You could. I don't have any to show you that, but I'm, I imagine you could. But it might leave bubbles in it because it is uh, chipboard. So you might get air bubbles because it's material. Maybe. 
let's see. There we go. This is the part you got to be careful with. Stay. Stay. Don't get off the table. All right. Let's see. Yes. Okay. I want this to stay really low. I also have to make a hole in the lace because I've got this hole a little too... I mean, I could have put the, the lace, and maybe that's what I recommend. Before you make the hole, put the lace on and make the hole after. It probably makes more sense, but, and I think I did that with the other one. But uh, as long as you can punch a hole through the lace and get the string through, that's all that matters. All right. So you got some more glue sticks. So can you work with your right hand, Leanne? Can you do stitches, you think? Did you try it? I have never done anything with my left hand. Um, and I wonder. Uh, been cleaning kitchen cupboards. Oh, wow. All day. Now I'm eating burnt grilled cheese sandwich. I don't even like non-burnt grilled cheese. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Right. I am going to turn this. I do not like that. I know what I'm going to do here. So we're going to come across with my scissors. So I don't like this curled piece, so I'm going to tuck it down. Okay. Stay. I would like to say it just remain remains to be seen what hand yeah okay well, well we'll see i might like i said if i'm not tired or anything and you're still with me um i will do a live stream more on it but i'm gonna i'll do it with you i might do some once i get this done um and i still feel like um you know you know me i get in the mood and then i could be here for a long time so it's just what i like doing I gotta get the all right, let me get some more string. Great. I need some more of this. I need some more. Why do I it's like I'm lost for words right now, but I actually need some uh, white twine. I don't know why I've never done that. I need I got red and white. I have a whole thing of red and white and black and white, but this the 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 plain colors, I don't have any of that hardly. That that's all I got left is this a little bit. I don't know if I have black and white, but I know for sure. I bought for Christmas, I bought red and white, so I have a lot of that. All right. Uh, what is wrong with your hand, Leanne? I had double carbon tunnel. Oh, yeah. You can answer that. You know what else I might do? I didn't do it on that one, but I got an idea. Got an idea, but it takes a couple minutes to dry. I'm tempted to do something. Add a little, a little sparkle on these ones after I'm done. Okay. 
Now, what am I going to put in this text? Uh, let's see. What shall I put? Hug? Hugs? I guess I could put H-U-G-S. Hugs? Hug. I got love. Kisses. I love you. All right, let me do I love you in this one. Um, I don't, I don't have anything planned to crochet right now. I have to practice my stitches, and I just thought if somebody doesn't know how to crochet, then they can learn because I'll be practicing my stitches again. So eventually, I want to make um, a popcorn garland with beads in it. That's what I'm thinking. I don't know. I haven't done. I used to make baby clothes and different things. Um, I, I don't know what I have in mind to do. I can even do journal covers. I just don't know what I want to do yet, but I do need to practice to get back the par up to doing it. There, that's actually cute because I put it together. It says, I love you. Scooby dooby doo. Okay. And uh, I got to put a hurt on this one. Gotta, gotta. Third on this one? No, that's not even fitting. Maybe that's what I got. I love the popcorn garland. I wish I could learn that. Well, we're gonna I'm let me uh I will definitely have patience to show you because I have to learn myself, but anything I can do and I feel pretty confident about it, I have no problem being patient to show other people. Uh you know what? Maybe. I think I don't have any blue, so I don't want to use the blue. I want to use it on something else. There's a pink one here. See, I don't even have any purples. I don't want to. Oh, here's a lilac. What about this one? Let's try that one. Does that look pretty? Eh, I don't like that one either. What else do I got in here? There's a deeper pink. I like maybe that. How about that one? That's not bad, eh? Better than uh, these. I wait a minute. I save a bunch of videos on that. So much better than these garlands. Well, you can have them for a long time. I'm thinking to make a garland for my own tree plus my daughter's tree out out west. I like to send it to um to Edmonton for her for Christmas. So I'm thinking of making that. I think she'd like it. So I'm going to try. Hey, Christine, did you hear what I was talking? I was calling your name because I know you're, she's the crocheter right there. She curls and I'm going to um, do some, I'm going to do some little things uh, practicing on, and I will name it on my, my live stream. I'll go and say I'm coming on and, and I'm going to be practicing uh, crocheting in a stitch. And then I'm going to do the popcorn stitch. And I'm going to figure out how to make that garland. That's what I want. Um, tinsel is horrible. Oh, yeah, I don't even use tinsel anymore. I used to, but I don't use it. I don't use it anymore. Okay, we need another glue stick. I make a mess when I have too much glue stick on here. Like in the handle and it all melts. So it's better just to let it all go. And then add another stick for me. Like right now, it's half right there. So I'm going to put some more. And I love these glue mats, by the way. Uh, yeah, I was all getting happy. Oh, did you hear me? It's okay. I don't care if you... It, it's just that was my plan, and I think I'm going to do that. I'm actually going to... Well, I was. I already said it before. I even said it to you. I'm going to come back on and work on uh, crocheting stuff. And I want to do the basic crochet for those like Leanne or whatever want to learn from the very beginning. Then I'm going to come back and practice popcorn stitching. And then when I learn how to do the popcorn stitch through crocheting, then I'll show you how to do the garland. But I have to practice, and I'm practicing with you guys because um, I don't know what I, I just got to refresh my memory how to do this stuff. This has been a little while since I did it. 
So that's what I'll say on that. All right, let's go in here. I'm going to go further in. I always go too close to the edge. All right, there we go. Okay. What did you say? Browser crashed. Uh, I'm going to start. I'm at browser crash. I'm going to start up your, and give it. Yeah, go ahead. I think I'm losing my other computer too. I have to see. I'm not sure if the hard drive went in it or um, it just lost my internet uh, password. I don't know. So I have to fool around with that because I was trying to do some thumbnails and I couldn't work on my machine today. All right. It's been years since I did uh, that stitch. Let, yeah, I'm going to see if I, uh, you know, I did it a long time ago. I never really made anything, but I practiced it. So this time, if all goes well, I have many things to do that I want to do on here, but um, that's one of the things I might live stream and come back to do. That kind of craft, I like it. We shall see. Okay. Um, I don't want to go too much. I don't like it when I do that. So let's see. Just a little bit back. Make sure I get the hole too. Put it there. Stay. Oh, God, is there sliding? Stay. Hey, okay. Come on. Don't be mean to me. All right. I'm going to look up something new to learn. Yeah, cool. Go ahead. Tell me, are you going to do it or for yourself or uh, you want to join me one time? We'll see what we can do. I do want to learn new stitches and uh, whatever. Take people along the way if they want to learn it, if you want to. Hey, Bill, are you still out there? You, who's pretty quiet out here? I don't know if you guys left or not, but uh, anybody listening and just feels like listening or watching. And if I'm out of screen, uh, go ahead and tell me if you're watching. All right. There, it's not bad. Uh, ouch. Boy, sometimes it's really ouch, ouch, ouch hot. All right. Right, we got it back down. What's the next thing? I had phrases here. Thanks to everybody helping me out. Uh, cutie is cute. I like cutie. Uh, yeah, cutie. Cutie is cute. Sweet. How about sweet? S W. So it's E's got to be in the center. I'm trying to make them straight. Yes. E. It's like I go crooked here. All right. Let's do this again. Where's 
we uh, cut. There you go. Oh. Hey. Hey, hot, cute. Wait a minute. What is that? Hot glue was not fun. I got my finger. Oh, yeah. Hot glue. Okay, I got it. Hot glue isn't fun when you get your fingers done in it. Nope. That is true. Let's try this again. Am I out of pen pencil now? Oh, it looks like it's all done, my pencil. I went down more. All right, let's try this again. That's better. Um, I'm sorry about my spell. Oh, don't worry about it. You know, you always say don't worry about it. It's all good. It's all good. Sweet. Petite. Have to put two of these here. Yeah, I do need letter stencils. I don't have any. Or I have some somewhere. Because my printing's not great. So I'd rather use stencils if I had them, but I don't have any. Her. I don't think I do. I have cutouts, but not. I got to think about if I got stencils. I'm not sure, actually. But you would probably rate on that. I agree. Yeah, one more to do, and then I'm going to clean out of my way here, and I'll put the Mod Podge on it. And when that's drying, I might go get my crochet hook. i got to find it. I got. I need some wool. So I'm going to grab some wool and then practice a little bit. And then I'm. it's not my live stream for this, but I just thought if Leanne's in the mood and we're here together, maybe. All right, I should put that after, but it doesn't matter. Yes, let's put the string on this one. Mm -hmm. Put my glue caps on. There we go. String through. Come on. Where are you, my sweetie pie? There's somewhere in here. Try to get that string out. It's right where a, a stent or um, the sequence is. Get it out. Hey, so I got it. Yes, perfect. All right, this is cool. One more to do. Yes, I have others to do. I don't know if I'm going to do it tonight or not. Or I should get them, but I don't know if I'll, we'll see. We'll see how everybody is and how late I want to stay on. Because I'm really not probably coming on tomorrow. Um, and I'm not probably, I won't be crafting tomorrow. And cooking is not till Wednesday. I'll come back and cook something on Wednesday. And hey, Christine, if you're joining me too, maybe you can help me out too. I'm going to try to figure out how many calories are, if you're trying to lose weight, how many calories are in things and thanks well for that appreciate that all right
There we go. One more left. Yeehaw. One more left. So what are you doing at 3 o'clock? Are you in school at 3 o'clock Eastern Standard Time? Well, I've been doing some live stream cooking. Um, I was down to 3 I'm down to 3 Oh, that's good. I'm trying to make some uh, recipes. I'm going to make a journal to put this for me. But I'm trying to make some recipes up. And kind of figuring out how much calories roughly they're in the recipes I'm doing. So that's, yeah, calorie counting is, is I'm bad at it. No, but you, it's not, that's not what I'm asking you to do though. I'm going to figure out how many calories, but I'm doing good losing my weight. Yeah. Well, no, I just want to know how many calories. It, it, Cause I have to figure out, I'm not asking people to count calories. That's not what I'm doing. Well, I got to figure out how many calories are in it. And then you kind of work from there. Okay. Is this, um, how many meals like Sunday to, to Saturday, what I can eat? Will I still lose weight? So it's not counting calories. It's make for me. It's just trying to figure out how much I can eat with the, the meals I make. And then I can adjust my calorie take kind of, I don't know if you know what I mean. I'm not asking anybody to count calories. That's not what I want to do either. I just want to know how much recipes are. So let's say um, you figure out one of the meals I have is, uh, hopefully I am okay. Now. Oh, good. I hope so too. Um, so if you, like, for instance, if I do a meal and I count, I have to do some, I got to do some math with it. I got to figure out, okay, I do, I use a pound of hamburger and I, I'm going to use it for four people. And then I divide the calories of how much a pound of hamburger is for four people. Whatever you just, you take it, you add it all, whatever's the whole recipe, add it all. And then you just divide how many in total calories it is. And then from there, then I know, okay, this is a good meal to eat during the week because you're going to lose weight. Um, that's kind of what I'm heading for. I, I never was, I don't count calories either. That's not what I want to do, but yeah. You know what I mean? Okay, good. You said, yeah, you get it. Yeah, it's not to make you go, okay, Justine, if you follow this program, you're going to have to count the calories. No, I don't count calories either. I just want to know how much my recipes are calories wise. Then you go and say, okay, your intake for the day is how many to lose weight? Um, how much can you eat per day? And then it's easy to figure out a recipe for the whole day because you just, you just do a seven day program and then you just follow that program. And it's going to be fine. You're going to enjoy meals and you'll just have to eat the thing for seven days until you, if you want to lose weight. Um, I got lean, uh, I got lean hamburger beef and I had fat and it, I don't know why. Oh yeah. I know that will happen. That will definitely happen. And, and you know what I'm kind of recommending, I'm going to try to cut down on my red meat anyways, you know, red meat's not really good for you. Um, so I'm not going to tell you I'm not going to eat red meat, but I'm going to try to eat less red meat. I would rather have vegetarian dishes and uh, my family won't agree, but I will. <laughs> I will rather have a, a veg vegetarian dish once in a while than um, having red meat. Oh, that's great. My last one. I'm so excited. Unless I come up with, like I said, if I do, I have really, if I do some more, I'll see how much time I have, but I'm in the mood to craft, so I don't know. I'll, you guys are probably going to get tired but, of me, but um, I'm not. I went from 350. I was in, Oh, that's fant good for you. I went from 3. See, I need to lose up there. I'm not at 350, okay, but I still have a lot of weight to lose, um, and I went to 350. It's like I want to tell the weight, but let me lose some weight first before I feel better, but I... I weigh quite a bit and I want to get down to the weight and that's absolutely fantastic you lost that much weight that you don't need meds 
I want to, like I said, I want to do something that anybody can follow if you want to, that are delicious meals. And that's my goal. It's for myself, but you guys can, you're more than welcome to do what I'm doing, but I'm doing it for myself that I want to see if I can set a seven day schedule. Gaming, uh, I'm proud if you wait to go, wait, wait, gaming, I'm, you got auto correct the thing, right? I had kidney stones before because I ate a lot of red meat. I love steak and drink sodas. It's not fun. Oh, I appreciate that. Uh, that's very sweet of you. Well, it's very sweet. But um, I, for help of my age and my knee issues, I want to lose it. I don't want to look sick. I just want to lose some weight. Um, no to diabetics. No matter how bad your sugar is you can turn it around without drugs. Yeah. Oh, good for you. Uh, amen to that, Christina. That is, I, I, I'm all for that. If you can do stuff without using drugs, boy, am I for that. Ooh, it split up. Look at it did. Bad, bad. Let's cut this down. It's the first one I had where it split the string. Let's try this again. All right. I got another, which one am I going to put? Got puppy love. I got number love. Oh, I'm going to put hugs on this one. Hugs. Where can I get that through? That's splitting. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Got it. Yay. I got the last one, unless I get energetic and want to do the more, more of them. But right now I have in total, what do I have in total? Six. Yeah, I got six of these. So cool, 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 cool. That's a thank you. Yeah, that's a thank you. I think the other puppy is Disney. Leanne gave me puppy love. So I like puppy love. And I think this one. All right. I'll pull this out of my way. Ails hugs. That's what I want for this one. Yes, no stencil. It's no hugs. So I need H U G H. Okay. Yeah. Hey, that one went good. Practice makes perfect, I guess. I'm going to have to rinse my brush out. It's drying out. I'm letting it sit here. Ooh, wrong one. Okay, big marker. There it is. Okay, that's better. I'm doing something goofy here. Hey. Okay. All right. H U G S. All right. You know what else I want to do on one of them? Um, I want to put the year because I like making something and then I forget what year I made them. So I'm going to put the year on this one. Um, so I know I, I made it in 20, 22. All right. As long as I have one that says 2022, I'm good. Actually, I should put them all. What the heck? I like the idea. If I give them away, they know when I gave them. So I am. I'm going to put 20.
All right. Now this last one I was trying to say, and I start things and I forget if I said them. The re Why do you think I use Mosh Podge, by the way? Just out of your curiosity. Leanne, are you there? I want you to know if you know why I'm using Mosh Podge and I don't just spray it. I was about saying it, and I don't know if anybody heard me. I'm going to rinse this brush out. This is done. Uh, let's move that out of the way. Um, no, well, yes, 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 yes. You did listen to that part. But the main reason I don't know if you heard me or if I totally said it is when you, if I were to spray this and I've learned my lesson because I wrecked items that my granddaughter made something and she used magic marker on it or any kind of marker, it'll smear. This will be all smeared if I do that. But if I put a coat of Mod Podge before I spray it, then it'll stop it from leaking all over the place. And that's kind of one, it's kind of like my sealer for, for markers. That's what I'm going to say. It's kind of my sealer for markers. Um, you know what? I'm going to go this way first because this is the one I really want to look nice. And so I'll show you what I'm going to do here. Oh, it does. It makes a mess. If I were to seal it and show you, um, I wrecked a lot of projects. It flew off, off and it was horrible. So there we go. Look at that. It's moving on. Moving on up. All right. So I'm going to, uh, I got my Mosh Posh. And this, it, this one I have, the only one I have left. So the, the only reason I'm using this one is the only one I have left. But it also is dishwasher safe. So technically, I use this outside. This blue one, um, it's great stuff. I almost feel like just keeping this kind because it's waterproof so i used it outside and i did rocks with it um i did the rocks i mosh posh it after i designed it and then i i put mosh posh and then i sprayed it again for an extra sealant and it wouldn't spread the work the uh, whatever i wrote on it and um it worked great it worked great I see some I don't like. I don't know what that was. Yeah. All right. Oh, my hand's getting. I love these round. I'm going to do a couple of coats of this. It takes a little bit to dry, but I got my hair dryer, so if I want to dry it faster, I'll just blow dry it as long as I'm not annoying anybody. Do I annoy people when I blow dry? Thanks, Will. When I'm using my blow dryer, is it, is it too loud? Because I forget. Somebody told me it was hard on their ears. I forget who it was, but I don't think it's you guys. So if it is, tell me because I'll take the sound off if you find it's uh, annoying you.
And I love my mat because this can just, I can just put this in warm water and soap and wash it. I just forget half the time to use it, but uh, these mats are good. They're worth it. They can withstand heat on them um, and they wash off with soap and water. So if you ever want to do crafting, this a mat is a craft mat is so worth the money. I just a lot of times you won't see it because I just forget to put it out, but uh. It is definitely worth it. Okay, I'm gonna come around after, but this is a nice coat. All right. All right, I'm going to put the lid on here. Let me just, um, I don't wanna, I'm just gonna rinse my brush off. I guess I could, but I wanna, Okay, tell me if this bugs you, okay? So. Not loud at all. Well, thanks, Will. Because I want to get this. Uh, I might unplug my. Uh, I'm going to do. I'm going to let this dry, but I want to plug my. I don't think I need my glue stick anymore. Because I decide I got. I'm energized, and I'm going to do some more hurts. I have none of this paper, but I do have other kind of paper I can use. Just not this one. And I really liked the butterflies and the hurts on this one. It's so pretty. I would try material, but I don't have, I don't know if I got access to really pretty material to try it out and see if it will work for me. I have this feeling um, material might bubble up on chipboard. I don't know. But we'll see. I would rather hear the noise and know what's going on. Oh, okay, thanks. I'm gonna put another coat on here. See, it's almost dry. It's, wait, the lace is a little bit harder to dry. But, uh, I'm gonna put on. I'll put this down, and I'm gonna come back with another coat. Okay, so the lace is obviously going to take longer than the, the chipboard to dry, but um, and I'm going to go the op I'm going to go up, but I'm going to go the opposite way. The next coat I'm going to go this way, so you try to see less lines in it when you do that too. All right, let's go back here. Okay. I'm getting done. If I can find some paper, we'll see. I'd like to cut those three hearts. I have three hearts left. And uh, we'll see if I feel like decorating. But I'm also going to grab my wool somewhere. My wool is somewhere around. And fool around with that after. It's 
surprised. You know what? I'm going to cross my fingers. I have no bots tonight. I don't know what's going on with that. But yay. Not being bugged by the bots. I should should speak up. I shouldn't say anything, though. Probably going to come around soon. All right. I'm forgetting which one. See, they're drying really fast. But I'm almost forgetting which ones I already coated. All right. Let's coat these. Okay. Did I do this one already? You guys are going to have to tell me which one. I'm going a little nutty here. Um, let's see. Okay, I want to do three coats anyways, but I think what I'm going to do is two, and I'm going to flip it around and do the back, and then I'll come back and do another coat on the front, and I want this front really shiny. Um, I like the look of that. All right, let's close this for a minute. And we're going to go back to the hair dryer. Dry these faster. They're drying fast, though. Ooh, good All Um, and actually, the microphone blocks out background noise. Our oldie band had a wireless microphone like that. Looks like, looks like the '80s. Those look beautiful. Thanks. Um, they look vintage. Thank you. Thanks. Oh, I know how to make them vintage. I just have to add a little bit of tone to them if I wanted to. But then, if I do that, it'll get on the ribbon. So I'm not going to do that. Let's go back to, no, oh no, oh my God, I got it all over my computer. Oh my God, this is the first time I did this in a long time. Hang on a minute, guys. I got to wipe this off or I'm going to have an issue on my keyboard. Ooh, yes, great job. Oh. Oh, boy. <laughs> Oh, I spilt this thing spilt my mosh posh and normally I've been so good about this and not being you're very careful. Oh, God. Oh. It's all right. As long as I can get this, I'm gonna lift it up more. Hang on a minute. God, look what I did. That's the first time I did this. Oh, well, this will dry clear. I'm not worried about the crop part. I'm more worried about my computer. Yeah, let's get this all fixed up before it gets too clogged.
computer and more scared about. Okay, let's fix this again. No, I should put plastic over my keyboard. I gotta remember to do that, or I won't have a computer anymore. Uh, all right, let me get this. Uh, I should have did this. I don't listen to myself sometimes, and other suggestions about covering the keyboard up when I'm doing this. Hmm. Oh, what happened? You still there? Let me see. There we go. Okay, I think I, I think I'll live. I think I'm okay. I hope. <laughs> I had to clean it anyways, and I did it again. Okay. Whew, I hope I'm okay. It looks like I'm all live. Now, now that I learned my lesson, I'm going to put something on top of my keyboard. I should do this all the time, but I do. I got some pasta. Put this on the keyboard. There. It's going to bug you guys, but I'll move it out of the way. This way, I don't. I can protect it there. Oh, it's all wonderful. You're the best. It hap. Wait, you're the best. It happens. Yeah. Oh yeah. I don't feel like the best right now, and it certainly does happen. It's okay. Well, thank God. I I reacted fast. It's not water, so it's not the same. But hopefully, I won't have an issue. My thing's drying out. I'm gonna have to try to wipe it. I can't put a bunch of water on it because that'll wreck my computer. But to clean it off once in a while should be okay. Let's check this out. As long as that's stuck. Okay. There we go. I think I, uh, there. Let's continue on. The panic is over. Hey, hey, Sheila. Hi. Let's try that again. <laughs> Try it again. You know what? This time I'm going to put in the lid. And I'll put this way away from me. That's better. Okay, I'll do the lid. How was Sheila this fine night? How are you doing, Sheila? See that the marker, we good? The marker doesn't spread at all. I just want you to be aware of that, even though I crashed and burned almost. The marker is um, standing still. It's not smearing. If I would have sprayed this, boy, it would have been all over the place. That here and that here and that there. And uh, just wipe this off since it went all over it. There we go. Oh. Oh, thanks. Thanks. You're the best, Leanne. Thank you. Thank you for that. All right. 
not only that, this Mosh Posh is like sticky, right? So it's also sealing my little hearts and all that, giving it another um, coat to stick onto it and it dries clear. You don't, don't even know I, I put that on it. Okay, I gotta let it sit for a little bit. And I wanna go in the meantime, see if I can find my crochet needles. Um, what do we got? Um, did it smear? On You're talking about my computer? I don't know. Okay. I have to, I just don't want my keys to be stuck. All right. Hopefully crossing my fingers, I did okay with it. Okay, so now I'm going to leave this dry here and put a blow dryer on in a minute. But I'm going to, uh, I want to see if I can find my, um, did it, okay. It looks like everything's okay, thank God. And I'm trying to cover my keyboard. I can also see the screen. Uh, let me do this a little bit better. All right. There, so then you don't see the milk bag. That's better. All right, I have to, I'm going to go find my crochet hooks and let this dry, and then come back and put another coat on it and get these all finished up. And I will be back in a minute. I put the lid on here. To see if I can get some wool. So if I can do a little bit of that, we will fool around with that. If I can find my wool. You're not waiting around too long for this. Right, so my little flowers up. All right, Leanne. I'm ready. Thank you for hanging around. Look, Leanne, I got my, this is what I store my knitting needles in. And I got some practice wool to see how that goes. All right. I just want to oh, put my right here on the floor for now. So I'm happy to tell you I got it. I will let these dry and unplug it. Let's see what I can do. Wait, what do we got, Leanne? I don't think it was card. Hope the glue did not get in between the keys. Yeah, that's what uh, what happened. I wiped it off. Hopefully, I have no issues with the main keys. Well, uh, hope so. Because my other computer is not doing well. I really don't want to invest in another computer again. Um, but let's see what happens. Okay. Dude, this is nice. Actually, I could uh, sand all this down too if I wanted to. I don't know if you can hear me, but 
you know what? I am going to soak this. I'm going to, I'll bring it back in a minute, but I'm going to move them to my counter to dry. Um, and then I'll come back and probably do another couple coats, but I'm going to move them away from here. And I have no mosh posh near me. All right, Leanne, um, you ready? Uh, that is really too bad. Well, all right. Can you hear me? Yes, you can hear me, right? Tell me you can hear me. Tell me you can hear me and not worry. Just refresh. Hello, can you hear me? Just refresh your screen. Sounds wonderful. Okay, cool. All right, Leanne. I don't know. I'm just going to fool around with this. And when you're learning, Lisa's in town. Hello. Welcome back. But I want to show you when you learn, it's better to use a bigger needle. So when I'm learning, I always start with a big one. Like this one is number, uh, let's see, um, US. It's. Uh, five. It's H8 or a five. Uh, okay, got it. Yeah, you grab a trick. But anyways, the point is, I start, if you want to practice, you need to practice with a big one. It's just easier. I always showed kids to practice with a big needle. Um, Christina, what about you? When you first learned how to, to crochet, did you use bigger needles? Even knitting um, is bigger needles. So you tell me when you're back. Yeah, oh, you need some iced tea? So this is cool. I got uh, most of my stuff, yay, done. And uh, I could have tried this with material. And I'm missing two. Let's see. Anyways, I'm going to clean this up after I get offline. But um, I'm just waiting until she comes back. So I'm going to show you, and you tell me if this seems hard to do. This is a slip knot. There's so many ways to start. I think this is the easiest way for me. If you do a slip knot, right, it looks like that. And you take your string and go in the center, pull it up. That's a slip knot. That's the easiest way. There's ton, tons of ways to learn. But tell me, does that seem hard for you guys? That slip knot. See, I'll keep doing it until Leanne comes back too. But. You go like this. You don't have, I do it so good. I use my finger and put it through, but to show you on the screen, you, you go like that. Laren with a small hook. My first blanket was for a baby. Oh yeah, you did. Well, small. I think when you, you're teaching somebody or when you're teaching kids or somebody learning first, I always think it's a good idea to use a big needle and you can see it. And you know, there's different ways to start, but I find this is the easy one. Uh, with this right here, and then you're going to go in the center and pull the wool up. And there's your slip knot to start. And it comes off. I'm just waiting for Leanne. And Leanne, tell me when you're back and tell me if this is easy. And Lisa, yay, where you been? How many dogs you got tonight? I'll just keep doing it until she comes back. And then you can see what I'm doing on screen. What about you, Sheila? Do you know how to do this? Whoever's there, slip knot. Again, like that. Put this through here. Pull it through. Four. What's four? What do you mean, four? Well, should I stay or should I go? 
And I'm letting my little ornaments come. I'll come back after. The hook is supposed to be right size for the yarn. Yes, that's true. But I don't always follow that because it always depends on how you crochet or knit. Um, if they say size eight, and then you, when you do a sample part of this, um, Christina, and if it doesn't match the gauge to what they want, then the needle is too big. And sometimes you got to change the needle. So it doesn't always work what it says. Oh, four dogs. Okay, gotcha. Doesn't all, that's my opinion anyways. It doesn't always work. If you see the thing and it says use hook E or whatever number you're using, and if it doesn't match the gauge, because they always tell you to practice your gauge. It has to work out that if you use it and the way you're doing it, it should match up to one inch per square inch or whatever it is, whatever the pattern says. So I kind of, a lot of times I do patterns. I don't even, I don't even, um, well, maybe that's bad, but I don't always follow the same needle. Depends. And sometimes I was making things up, so I didn't even follow any needle. I just, when I made um, outfits or blankets, I just made my own, did my own thing. Nanny, he bought back a wonderful 1980s classic. Should I stay or should I go? Yeah. Oh, you like that? Should I stay or should I go? And when you're back, Leanne, and if you want to learn different ones, you know, I'm just learning the basic start of this, uh, Christina. I know there's different ones. They actually take a hook and you can go like, I don't do that, but like this. And then you can bring this through, I think. And then it becomes, if you do it, bring it through. Hang on a minute. I'm pretty sure I can do this one too. And it bring it through a circle and then like that. Nope, that didn't work. But there's ways of doing it. I just, I don't do it that way. So, right. So when Leanne comes, back, I'm just going to fool around with what I'm doing. And you can talk. And if you want to know any more detail, just ask me. Um, there's the circle. Going through. Pull it up. Okay, so now this is the part that's going to be fun. So normally, I put my finger, the wool over top, and my little pinky ooh, is right here. And I'm holding this with my thumb down here. And then I'm going, and I bet you, Christina, you don't crochet the same either because not everybody does. But if you go around and bring it through. Right, and around, bring it through, around, bring it through. That is the beginning of crocheting, by the way. That's the basic crocheting. This is called um, a slip stitch, a chain. And from a chain, watch, I'm just gonna fool around. Yeah, I use it different. I pull the yarn through. I use my hands, I twist and, and pull the yarn. This is what I'm, I'm doing, and then, you want to do a second row, you go into this one, go in, pull through, and that's just a single stitch. And then we're going to go into the one over here and do this. I'm just fooling around to when Leanne comes back or anybody has any questions. And I don't even have my glasses on. I'm actually making up seeing the stitches. I can't even really see them, but I can tell where they are. Here's a stitch right here. Right there. You go in here. Are you got you got some wool with you? You're gonna need different size needles, but what do you got? You got a K. Doesn't really matter. What do you got? H I J K. You got a bigger one. When will my sweater be ready? Oh, um, will I go so fast? Yeah, chain stitch. And what's that one, Christina? You can tell us the stitches for us. I think this is a single stitch, by the way. I love orange sweaters. Oh, do you? Oh, okay. Sure, I'll get right on that. You can see. Leanne. You got your wool and you got your thing. I don't know. Um, come on. It doesn't matter. Let's see what you got. You said you got a K, K needle. Let's see what you got. See, I just did something for you. Um, what is K? What does she got? She said I got a K needle. These are all my needles. Uh, which one's K? H. There's another one. Five millimeter. Um, H I J K L. I, I think she's making it up too. I got a K. Do you seriously have a K? I don't even think there's a freaking K needle. Let's see what you got. Uh, what letter is this one? Let's see, it's a five and a half. Oh, that's I. Let's see. Six should be K then. If she's going by right, let's see. There's six. What's this one? K. Oh, you got a really big one. She has a K right here. This is K. 
So she wasn't kidding. I was making sure. That's K. Right? K soda soda. It's a little bit bigger than mine. Uh, my grandma passed on a K. No joke. Okay. Well, let's start. Do you got your wool out there? Here's your K. I'm gonna work with a K. It'll be just it'll be bigger stitches, that's all. Um, a J and a half, a blue J. <laughs> a J Look at you with me? You got your hook? Lee, I don't let me, I don't have a clue. Let me see if I can do a, the opposite way. So Leanne is uh, left-handed. So I would literally let me see. If I was working with my left, oh Leanne, I can do it. Look at Leanne. I, I'm not even using my right hand. I would use it, pull it through. Ta-da! I did it with my left hand. That is a slip snitch. Slip st <laughs> I'm getting tired. That's a slip stitch, a snip stitch. A slip stitch and with my left hand. Someone crocheted me a nice hat and some dog. Oh, somebody crocheted a nice hat and some dog. I'm trying to fool around with this, Lisa. We'll see how it goes. Um, I Like I said, I am practicing. So she would literally, she, she has to go. Wait, 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 wait. That was my right hand, wasn't it? I take it back. Let me do my left hand. Wait, right, left. Okay, this is my left hand. And I can still do it with my left hand. The snip. <laughs> you screw. <laughs> ah, you, the, the snip stitch. You screw it up and cut it off. That's funny. Okay, so uh, let's do it again. Come on. Let's go. Are you with me, Le Leanne? You with me? You guys are leaving me in stitches. Ah, ha, ha. Hilarious. Um, I love Doris Day singing. Oh, yeah. I, I don't even realize I'm singing all this stuff. Um, Come on. Leanne, get it out. Lisa's throwing out those stitches. That's cute. Okay, Leanne, look. Look at honey. There it is. Right? Then you take this piece and go underneath with it, no matter what hand you're doing, and pull this over here and pull it back. And there's a slip stitch. And the reason it's called a slip stitch is because, look, it's it slips. It slips. And you have no more string. So um, let's try this again. Let's see. This is, Christine, if you're watching me, tell me what kind of stitches I'm doing. Um, and I'll use the big, the big one, the big kahuna, the big K like Leanne has. Leanne has a K. All right. So I put that like this. I go over, my little pinky holds it, and I pull the string with that, and my thumb pulls it down. That's a nose. Okay, so watch. One, two, three, four. I bet you, Christina, when you get good, you go really fast. Five. Slip, not, nose, yes. Okay. Six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. I did ten. But technically, you like to do eleven because you miss one on the turn when you go to the second. So you're going to do eleven, which ends up ten. So then you go into this one. Christine, are you there? What am I doing right now? What am I? Can you see on camera what I'm doing? Watch. And I'm going to go to the next one. Hang on a minute. Uh, not nose. No. No, not nose. No, I. she knows. A slip, not she knows. Okay. You should be practicing with me, uh, Leanne. You should be practicing with me. And if Christina is there, Christina knows what this stitch is. Then we go on the next one. You actually see this good on TV. And then the next one right here. I don't know if it's hard. I always I can watch videos and I can and understand it, but I don't know if you can actually see it what I'm doing here. See what how pretty it looks. Pretty pretty. Where is Mike? Oh, he's doing his clocks. 
Mike is doing his clocks. Well, that's what he's doing. He is doing his clocks. This better be 10. And if it's not, I always make an extra one if I screwed it up. But uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. No, there's more than that. Let's go this way. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I don't really get too many. I don't know. So I have some bad news. I might have to leave in like 13 minutes. I'll let you know. I have sitting around nobody on the BAM. Everyone streams at once. Oh, okay. Don't worry about it. If you got to go, you got to go. I want you to pay attention, though. I'm showing you how to knit. You said, I'll be right back. Okay. So now I'm going to do a, um, wait, I want to do, this is, was a single. Well, I'm going to do a double. You go right around. And we're going to do, see what the double looks like right in front of your eyes. Let's go to the first one. Mm -hmm. oh, wait a minute. I'm crying. Here. I'm going to try to crochet. Done. And this is a, like a, I go all three. One, two. Did you have a slip knot right? Okay, so you just you need to do the chain. Leanne, if you know how to if you know how to do the chain right, just practice the chain and rip it up and keep doing it. And you will get to do the other stuff. The chain, everything's based on the chain and crocheting. You gotta learn the chain. That's the chain gang. You learn the chain and then it'll show you other things to do. And there's a there's a single, one and a half, a double, a triple. This is pretty big though. Watch, watch what it looks like after. And when I learn the popcorn stitch, I'm going to practice that. And then I'm going to do that. And I'm going to show you how to do a popcorn stitch. Yeah, the glitter yarn makes it a little stiff to do. You shouldn't be practicing. You should practice on the easiest yarn at first. Because that's going to be hard to pull through. Another thing is you got to learn how to your tension, how to do it too. If you're too tight... Um, that's not good either. I want to show you what it looks like when I show you. Gl yeah, there's glitter yarn. She's right. There's glitter yarn, Lisa, um, for sure. I don't think I have any. I, there's tons of, there's ones where I want to make, um, maybe that's another thing. You want to make a scrubby. I might make, a, oh, I didn't do it twice. Let me do this again. I'll practice, but all right, you got to go around three. And go through here. I am just messing around, you guys. I'm not making nothing. Just messing around. Practicing my stitches. Okay. Sometimes it gets caught. Hang on a minute. Got the wrong section. It gets caught. I'm screwing that one up, but it's okay. I will practice, but you can see they look pretty similar. Uh, you're making me an orange sweater. Sure. <laughs> sure, I'll start today and be done a year from now. I don't know. Let me let me get work on that, Lisa. Let me uh, work on that. Let me work on that sweater. All right. I want to work on, how about, I want a popcorn stitch. I can make a hat. I'll work on a hat. The little things, the scarf. I'm not going to do a scarf because the scarf's really easy for me. But I need a little bit of a challenge. And so when you're at the end, you always do a little extra, a little extra chain. And then you kind of, could be one or two chains, but normally one. And then turn it around. There's another stitch. Watch this one. This is cool too. It's a back, you, you got to go in the back. So normally when you're stitching, you're going like through here, these holes, these big holes here. See the big holes right here, here, here. But in the back stitch, you're actually going on the top here where it looks like that. You actually go across this. So watch this stitch. And I'll just do single stitches along it. And you're going in the back. 
And I'm going to do a couple rows of that and show you what it looks like. And in the back. It's making me laugh. You're making it an orange sweater. You know what? A lot of times you, you do this for gloves. When you make mittens, not gloves, but mittens, you'll do the, the, the rim that goes on the bottom of a mitt or a glove. This is what I'm doing. This is part of what you do. You go on the back of this and you start crocheting the back of the top of the stitch up here. And I'm going to do a couple rows of that to show you what it looks like. So I need need a fat Aaron to match the fat hook, right? Not necessarily. This isn't a fat wall. I'll, I'll look at, so you got to practice first, so it doesn't matter. But look, I don't know the tension of it. I don't have a marker, but look, it's a normal kind of standard. Um, how many ply? Let's see. I think it's three ply. I think it's a three ply wool. So it's normal. This is the one. It's not the baby wool, but it's the next one up. That's normal standard. You get it in different uh, companies have standard wool. And this to me, I don't, right now, another day I'll pull out different wools and I'll show you what they look like, the thickness. Oh, don't worry about Leanne. Go for it. It's all right. It's all right. Don't worry. Be happy. I got company and I'm good. And I'm just going to fool around and then get off here. Okay, so we're back at the stitch again. Only this time when you turn it, it's flipped. And it's flatter up here. Hang on a minute. Back of the stitch. Hang on. Back of the stitch. Do the back of the stitch. I had to grab the wrong one. And what's so easy about crocheting, if, if you make a mistake, you just pull it out and go back. It's so easy. This is easier than knitting, for sure. If uh, it's very thick wool, cats always love to play with the wool. That's true. They like to play with the wool. Like kittens, not cats. My cat won't play with the wool, but um, a younger kitten or a younger cat like playing with the wool. I just want to do a couple rows to show you while my uh, ornaments are drawing. Hang on a minute. Are you my witnesses to show you that I am truly crocheting? I told you I'm not an expert, but... I know how to crochet, but I have to, I got to retrain my brain. It's like riding a bike. Um, I just got to remember how to do this stuff and then I can go back and do it. Oh, you have a good night, Will. Not a problem, man. Not a problem. I have a good one. So I'm going to go back. Back here. That was a little too loose. I don't like that. Right there. So we were talking and you're watching and I'm going to pull back my, um, thank you whoever's hanging in there with me. You guys are just watch. Seal, are you watching? Um, are you just watching? I'm gonna do a little bit of this, and then I'm gonna go back and get. So, are you gone for the rest of the night, Alien? You're going for quite a while. I'll I'll have to see you later. Da, 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 da. Well, thanks, Lise. And with your five dogs, we can talk. We can talk, and I'm going to finish my little ornaments. I probably I have three more I want to do um, and see how long you want to join me. What time is it anyways? Oh, it's only 10 o'clock. I felt like it was so late. I'm ready to get off. Oh, it's late enough. I'm ready to go. Four dogs. Okay, I screwed it up. I meant to say 
meant to say that and I screwed it up. Sorry. Sorry, forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. Let me make sure. Okay, I'm going to tighten this again. You are a good crocheter. I can't figure it out. I'm going to show you how to figure it out. I'm determined to show you. If you got to go, uh, you can need the time. You're going to have some wool, and I'm going to go one by one with you, Leanne. I'm going to show you. I have a lot of patience to, to teach people like that, um, and I take my time. And you tell me if you're, you're understanding or not, and I will do it over and over and over and over and over again. That's all I'll say, my friend, over and over and over and over. Right now I'm getting a little fast, but you can go slow because no one's really wanting to learn. But if you wanted to learn, I will slow it down. Right, there's lots of like, like lots of uh, people that know how to do all this stuff way better than me. But, hey, I'm going to make something. I will learn from you already. I Will I? Wait a minute. Will I learn from you already? I can't find, figure it out. Will, wait a minute. Will I learn? Wait a minute. I'm just confused. Will I learn from you already? Will I learn from you already? Am I saying that right? See, so, you know, I'm just doing some rows of this. I think this is really cool. And this is what they do when you go to do mittens. This is the cuff for a mitten. This is part of what they do. I'm gonna, I keep doing it, but I'm gonna show you that actually you do this. And then I'm trying to think. Uh, you gotta turn. You go the opposite way. It's like this becomes the the part of your wrist right here. What I'm doing here. There's different ways to do this, but that's the part of part stitch of a wrist that you do. Permit. Of course, you will use a lot smaller needle. This is way too big of a needle when I'm working with, but it, when I feel like I'm showing somebody to do it, it's way easier to work with a big needle. There, I'm going to do something. See, so I'm going to the back. I'm going to the back. All right, and then I'm going to do an extra stitch. I'm going to go back, and then you go at the back of these needles. Keep doing that. And you got it ribbing is what it's called. I can think about it, but ribbing. Yeah, I'm going to grab this. Hey, there you get back. Christine, do you ever do mitts? You know the ribbing that I'm talking about when you're going to the top of the back of the stitch? Right there is what I've been doing. I've been doing rows of this. Just practicing different stitches. Um, yeah. I have to get going on. I just want to remind, remember all the stuff, and then I can put it together a pattern and everything. But I just have to get warmed up from all the stuff because it's been a while. Go one more, and then let's go on the back. I'm gonna I'm gonna watch some videos probably um, when I'm off, and I'm gonna look at I'm gonna practice popcorn stitch, and that's what I'm gonna come back and around with that um because you must have, did you do mittens before gives a nice design i yeah i love it i think it's really pretty of 
course. And then there's, I'm going to floor on something else. Then there's the granny stitch. Oh, I got to get it. Remember that, how to do that. I, I, uh, cause I want to do a hat like a Tam. And I saw there was, um, one of my channel friends, friends did this hat. And it was so cute. Let's see. Oh, well, there. Okay. So that is a type of ribbing using crochet and it's normally, uh, okay. My dear, I, I got to go regretfully. I will, uh, try to crochet. Uh, yeah. Come and we'll do it together. I may look for something more complicated than popcorn. Yeah. Fine. I want to do, um, yeah, but popcorn to me is complicated, but to people that crochet a lot, that's probably a very easy stitch. So I was thinking, anyways, you're going this way and then you have, I gotta think, okay, we're going this way. Oh, that. So this is, would be the wrist right here of a, a mitt. This would be the wrist of a mitt down here. It's too, too long. And then you're going to, I was going back and forth and I'm going to take this and I'm going to come this way. And so I was going back and forth this way. So now we're going to go over here and make some stitches to whatever way, how many stitches you want. Hopefully I won't wreck my um, wool and I'll be able to undo it though. So we're going to go here and let's say we need, I don't know, I'm just making this up because I remember doing mittens like this. And just make wherever you want some stitches along the way, everywhere in here. Uh, let's see. This is like, I'm just fooling around with, like I'm making a mitt. Only this, this has to be a lot tighter, um, a lot tighter needle, like a smaller needle. Smaller needle. And the ribbing would only be this. This is way too long for ribbing for a glove, but. <laughs> so when you learn a different stitch, we'll have to show me what you're doing with different stitches. Because I can't wait to do that girlin one. I have some beads. I might have to get some more beads. I have some woolen beads, but I, I'll just practice it and then... I'll see if I can get some red beads and I'm going to make the garland too. When I feel like crafting, um, do a little bit of this, do a little bit of that, turn around, see what this looks like when I'm done. Just trying to have some fun here. And you expand the section here over and over. All right, I did enough of that. Uh, I'm gonna take this out and I wanna come back and do another coat on my stuff so I can finish my um, Valentine's ones up. See, and then I just untwine it. Ding, 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 ding. Did you ever see the scrubbies though? There's a pattern I wanna do with, um, I bought the wool and I never did it, Christina. Um, where they, they're little scrubbies for, you could do, and you can scrub with your dishes and everything, but it's a specific wool that I bought and you, they make little flowers. They look really pretty, but they're scrubbies for your dishes, but they look like a flower. And that was one of the things I actually want to do too, was make some of those scrubbies. That would be really cute. I got the pattern somewhere. I think it's actually on the wall. The pattern how to do it. That's why I bought the wool in the states, actually. Okay, let me get this all off. See? Yep. All right, come on. It's a little tight here because we got hair, so I'm using the hair in it. How did I get hair in it? I did. I got hair. You have to. Oh, come on. And cut it off. All right. Put that aside. 
finish my little babies before I lose everybody and put them get asleep. Let me put these in order. Okay. Lisa, you there? Who's here? Anybody? Am I talking to myself? Let's not. Really weird right now. All right, tomorrow I'll get up and clean all this mess out, and then I will. Oh yeah, Lise, did I tell you? Were you here? Are you here? Did I tell you that I can't come? I can't do tomorrow because I forgot. And please remind me because you got a good memory. I can't do Tuesdays and Thursdays live cooking because I take my mom to therapy from two thirty to three. So I can't do tomorrow. I have to come Wednesday where I'll make the taco salad on Wednesday. Um, just so you know. And I, when Leanne knows she was putting that out there about the taco salad, I can't do it Tuesday. Yeah. I was planning on coming back tomorrow, but um, I will not have a, t I'll run out of time if I try to do that. Like there's no way I can make it back in time and then try to set up for a live stream. So I am off Wednesday. All righty. All right. Yeah. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm definitely, I need help though. I'm going to get, I'm going to try to figure out how many calories whenever I do a recipe, I really do want to figure out how many calories I'm doing. So I got to figure out all that after I'll talk about that after at the end of the live stream. So I don't hold anybody up. If anybody comes to just strictly want to see what I'm doing and cook it, I'm not going to talk about the calories after I get all the recipe done. Maybe before I get off or something, I'll, or somebody, maybe I'll mention it and somebody can do it. Help me out. Help me out. Oh, I don't need this one done. I've done so many times already. I wonder if Mr. Mike is, is still doing his clocks. He came in to say hi for a little bit because he was getting frustrated. I'm working on his clocks, but uh, I wonder if he's doing okay. He's like me. He's crops for hours on his clocks. Are they cute? You think they're cute? Yeah. You want one? Want one of these? I'd make you one. I'd make you one and send you one if you want one. That's my offer to you, young lady. You had to give me your address. And I told you I wanted to make things and give you stuff. So if you want one of these, I will send you one. What are you painting on them? Oh, one is um, Hugs and Kisses. I have uh, Be Mine. I have I Love You, Sweet, Hugs, and Puppy Love. Yeah, I would. I, I'll send you one. 
How about, um, I'll make one specifically for you. I like that. And you give me your address and I'll send you one. Would you be okay with that if I sent you one? I want to make it up. I'm going to put whatever saying you like on it and I'll make you one up. No, what are you brushing on them? Um, oh, Mosh Posh. There, this blue one. The blue one is waterproof. It, no, right here. Mosh Posh, the blue one. The blue one's waterproof. It's the only one I have. Normally they craft and they use the yellow one. It's a yellow bottle. I actually don't like that one. Uh, I like this one actually better. It's more money, but it's a better glue. You want one? At least, really, I'll, I, I'm telling you, I'm going to make you one. I can come back on a live and, and we'll design it and I'll make you one. Okay, cool. I'm happy. I'm glad I, I want to make you some. I've never, you've been so good with me all the time I've known you. So I would like to make up for this for sure. Christine, Christina, you're here. You want one? Well, I'll make some more and I'll, um, you guys, I haven't seen Christina for a bit. I'll send you one, Christina. You, I know you haven't been here around, but it doesn't matter. I've sent different people one. I actually should send Leanne one too. Um, so I have sent Mike stuff. Different people I have sent already. So I, 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 I've sent Misha stuff. Um, I will send, I never sent anything to Lisa for sure. So I'll make you one. And um, I, I, I just need some addresses. And you got to give me a little bit of time because if it's going to the States, you know, it's going to take a while. But yeah, I'll send you one. I'd love to. I'd love to send, I'd like to send Leanne one. You owe me. I know I don't. It's okay. I, I feel like this will be a nice souvenir to give you. So I'm going to make, if uh, Christina wants one, I don't think I've ever given anything to Christina. So I, I don't mind giving for a first time. I've never given to you guys nothing. So you want one? You can have one. I'll make some different ones too. All right. I can let me, I don't know if I want to give these ones right away because they're kind of precious to me, the paper, but I'm going to make some cute ones. And those ones, I, I, I don't know if I'm going to part with these because I might give them to my kids, but for you guys, I'm going to make some. I will be willing to wait a year for my orange sweat. <laughs> You're so fun. I never mind the sweater. I'm not even, that one. I'm not promising you. God, I could barely, uh, but I will give you that. I like the, you like hugs. Okay. You get, you're going to be okay with my handwriting. What do you want, Lisa, on yours? I got like, I, I mean, if you're staying with me, I can make them tonight. I can make them different for you guys. It's okay with me. You're kidding. All right. I don't know. I don't know. I, I hope you're kidding because that one would be really tough for me because I can't even make myself a sweater, but um, I probably would. All right. So um, we're, we're going to do them and then I'm going to get an address from you guys both. I'll get you through Facebook. You can give me your address. Lisa, why don't you, you already have my Facebook. So why don't you, uh, Send me an address in a little bit. I'll make sure I got it. Let me uh, put these away. Let's see what we can find. I want to see if I can make a um, special ones for you. I got to get different paper. If you want to hang with me, you want to hang with me? You okay, you two hanging with me and I'll make them because this way no one's around anyway. So it's perfect that uh, I get, get you two. And then I'll probably, I'll make one for Leanne too because I've never sent her anything. And uh, I'll send Leanne one too. All right, as long as you're okay with my handwritten one, that's what you're getting. I'm not, I don't have a stencil, so you don't get a stencil, but um, all right. So let me move these out of the way and I'll see if I can find some paper. We're going to use some different paper. Okay, well, well let me see what I got because I'll start now. Okay. Hang on a minute. So I got 30 minutes. Let's see what I can do in 30 minutes. Let me find some other paper that I want to use. Oh, I have I have burnt paper. I can wait. Wait.
I got some paper that I'm just going to use. Let's see if you like any of this paper. Put your phone down. Okay, you ready? Put your phone down. Hey, Cliff. Put your phone down. Come on, Phone down. Drop the ball. Are you sleeping? Okay, so which one um, do you like? I got. I think I like the... I could find other ones. You guys like any of these papers? Any of these? Let's see. There's this one. It's pretty too. Let me show you. I'm talking about, I could see this being a hurt. Do you like any of these colors? She's going to bust my chops now because I said she needs, uh... oh, anyways, you got Go like I, I don't know. Tell me which one you like, and I'll pull out the paper, and I'll I'll design one right now for you guys, just using a different paper, and then because this pink will probably go okay with this one. What do you think? This one, and there's more in here. Not that I don't like that one. Trying to find something nice. I did have uh, a traditional Valentine's one, but I thought I don't want Valentine's for you guys. Uh, I just sent you a friend's request. Oh, I thought you were already my friend on, on Facebook. Aren't you already connected to me? Well, at least I thought we already connected on Facebook. Okay, well, I'll look it up after. Um, you guys like any of this one? No? You don't like that one? No? Is that a no you don't like that one? Or no for Facebook? No for Facebook. Okay. Let me, I'm trying to find something that you guys would like. I don't like this. I just want something uh, pretty, like a flowery thing, unless you don't like it. Like the dots. You always make pretty, make it pretty. Well, I'm just going to show you what I like, and then you tell me which one you like. No, I don't like any of this. This is too much. Uh, that one's pretty. You like, hang on a minute. This, the one I showed you, you like that one, Christina? Let's see. This one? Is this the one? I'll I'll sit it here for a couple minutes. If this is one you like, um, but I do have something else I wanted to show you. So let me go. This is one. There's something down here I saw. I liked. I know when I was going through it, I said I I pulled this paper because I liked. It. I mean, this would go pretty too, but uh. Where is it? It was a flower one print I wanted to use for you. No, that's not what I want. It's got too much pattern in it. It's going to look funky. I just want a generic flower one I'm looking for you guys. There. What about like this one too? This is the one I like. This one, I think this would look really pretty. Depends on wherever I put it, it's gonna look nice. Um, I think that's the one. Okay, your Facebook picture of you is adorable. Oh God. Ugh. But anyways, okay. Oh, that's with my old hat, Lisa. That's when I had. That's how I started my channel. So, um, this one, one or two? Stop. Yeah, well, I still have the hat. One day I'll put it on for you, Lisa. They, they teased me a lot. I had a hard time when I wore it. I still have the hat. I kept it as memories for when I first started the channel. You guys like this one? Um, it is a deeper pink, but I think that'll look nice. Uh, or uh, this one, one or two? Either one of you. 
Lise, you or Christina? She likes, I think Christina wants this one. Uh, I like something a cat threw up. Nice, 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 Cliff. Nice. Want this one? Well, I'm going to pour this one out because I think we're seeing what's that. Um, either. Okay. I'm going to do this. I'll, I'll put you both on this one here. Because it looks like I got how many sheets of the same color? I actually like this one. It's pretty funny. All right. Okay. Let me put that down. And I have to cut another hurt. I have my card set right here. Oh, you want two? You like the other one better? You don't want this one? I'm gonna find it. Uh, now that you showed the the other one is nicer. Oh, it's very nice. Okay, let me find two is nicer. All right, let me find. It. All right, so I got it right here. Nope, it's okay. I got it uh, right here. This one. Shoot, I hate how it's ripping off my pack. All right, I can take this one here and I'm gonna put that here. All right. Just cutting the hearts off. So I got three hearts I cut out. I just don't know how they're going to do in the mail, but I'll put tissue paper around them or something. And then I'll put them in the mail. All right, let's see. Um, heartbreaker, yeah. I got two more, and I got three. I actually, I'll do three of these since I got them anyways. I might as well, I'll paper them all up. Let's see if I can make them look pretty as the other ones. Such a pain in the tush. <laughs> All right. I don't know. I'm just going to place them wherever. Um, I'm going to. Oh, yeah. I'm going to place them down. I, the whole paper is pretty. So I'm going to put them wherever and we'll see. I'm going to try to aim for a rose, though. Part of a rose. So let's see what we get here. Oh, that looks nice. Cover this just in case you don't like it. I 
This time, I'm not going to punch the hole until after. I'm going to put the lace on, and then I'll make the hole for you guys after. Let's see. Right there. Yeah, this paper is a little bit thinner. I'm going to have to make sure I get rub all the glue on here straight, it, straighten it out. the rose on this one too. Cliff, are you still here? Cliff, are you still here? All right, I'm going to use my little scissors for this baby because this is thinner paper. Well, let's see. Did you say you want hugs on it? You said you want hugs on it, right? Lisa, do you want a special word on here? All right. Just trim it just a bit. I'm taking the pups out. Oh, surprise me. I'll check back. Hey, no, what's your, what do you want me to put? Christina said she wants hugs on it. What do you want me to put? Do you want, I got puppy love. You want puppy love? That'll be cute for you. I mean, my printing's not the best. I'm warning you, but I still think they turn out pretty cute. So I'll do puppy love, or do you want love, or tweet, or kisses, or sweet, or tweet, or cutie, 
Uh, just give me one word you want to use or two words or whatever. I have a bunch to choose from. Uh, puppy love. I like puppy love. I think for you is that perfect for me. I think it's cute. So puppy love for you is cute. All right. I worship Lisa. <laughs> ah, no. How about I love Jesus on here? You want me to put I love Jesus on here? I can do that. I don't know if I can fit it, though. Let me see if I can fit it first. I don't want to wreck the whole thing. Well, I'm going to be painting it anyway, so let's see if I can do this. I got lace coming here. I love. I Maybe. That's what you want. I am back for a few minutes. Left you on on um. If, oh, you left me a Facebook message too. You want to come and talk to me? Where's his? Who's? Let me see Facebook. All right. Um. I'm checking right now. Hope oh, nothing happened to my computer. All right. So what do we got here? Let's see. Oh. Oh my God. <laughs> what are you doing? Holy moly. This is a long thing. I'll never get nothing done tonight. Oh, you're so funny. Uh, a sweater, American English or pullover, also called a jumper. Um, typically with long sleeves made of knitted or crocheted. Typically, does not say it is, made of knitted or crocheted material that covers the upper part of the body. When sleeveless, the garment is often called a slip over slipper sweater. It says, you, you didn't win, typically. You can't, Mike, you're going to give me on a challenge here. Um, hang on a minute. Watch this. Can a sweater be made, made from material? Sweaters can be made from a number of materials, including both natural and synthetic fibers. The following are some of the most popular sweaters. Fiber along with their pros is cotton is a natural plant-based fiber grown all around the world and used to make a variety of clothing. So it, uh, and I'm looking at sweaters and they're not, they're not all, they're made out of material. They're types of sweater, knits, material and types. Um, yeah. It's got all kinds of material. You didn't win this round. You lost. Yeah, I won. No, you didn't. And I hope you catch up and refresh the screen. No, you didn't. I just proved to you that sweaters can be made out of other things than just wool. It just said that. Both natural and synthetic fibers. Um, so I, I, you didn't win this. You like to think you won it, but you didn't win it. Uh, prime Complete Guide to Sweater Types. Fabric. Fit and care. So where are you there? Where are you? Yeah, they are made of cotton yarn. They're made of things other than yarn. I'm shipping you a bag of dog hair. Yeah, ship, ship, ship some dog hair to Mike. Get his address. I'll give it to you. I got it somewhere. Ship that to him. Take that. Take that. Hopefully I got enough left of this baby. Oh, I'm going to put the, um, oh no, I don't want to put this on yet. I got to paint first. Let me get the paint ready. Get that painted. And then it'll plug back in. Yeah. 
Serve him a bag of poop while you're at it. He's full of poop. Full of poop, that guy. What do we got? Okay. What, 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 or how are they made with knit material knitted on? And you're not, you're full of poop. <laughs> you're not going to win on me. Sweaters are made. I have sweaters that are not all just wool. I have sweaters made of fabric. Anything that to me is open that has long sleeves, buttons, or a zipper is considered a sweater. And I have, I have material sweaters. They are not all knitted, my sweaters. I have some knitted sweaters, but not all of them. Some are actually made out of material. So uh, I'm not I'm not agreeing with them. I'm confused now. Oh, he's trying to say that he sent me a big message on Facebook, the definition of a sweater, and it, and it has to be made out of material. Your mom needs <laughs> your mom needs to spank you. Yeah, sure. Sure, Mike, sure. Okay, I need some paper towel. That's some right here. Yeah, he's talking crazy. He is talking crazy. Shoot, I gotta watch it because it's, it's getting too wet here. Gotta be careful with my painting here. It's coming up. See, this is what happens when it's not dry. Gotta watch how I paint this. Must be getting damp now because I had no problems painting earlier, and now I have to be careful how I'm painting this. I'll do the size later, but I've got to get this dried first. Stuck to me a little bit. I'll fix that one after. Are you uh, going to send me a soggy hair? Yeah, send me a soggy one. Oh, hi, Bill. I'm back. Sorry, I was building a lamp. Building a lamp. Oh, your 3D printer. Your 3D printer. I see. Building a lamp. You guys are up late. Hey, Bill. Oh, a lamp out of, That sounds cool. A lamp out of your 3D printer. I don't want to get it touched here. So I'm going to try move it over there. I don't want any spots on this. Over here. Oh, you kissing Linda? Are you going to send a soggy hair? Oh, Mike. 
Oh, I got I totally got it wrong. You're talking to Mike and they're gonna give you a wet one. Mike's gonna give you a wet kiss. I thought you were talking about my hurts. It's hard to understand this sometimes. Hi all. She's saying hi. Christine, don't forget to look me up on Facebook, okay? Um, look me up on Facebook, will you? So then uh, we can keep in touch, and I can you can I can mail this to you. Talking to, oh, me, uh, you were talking to me, talking to you. Oh, okay. Set you a big, a wet one. I might have to, oh, you know what, Lynn? You know what? I want to make you some, something else. I think I'd have to make you some of my dog bones and send them to you. Uh, Lisa, I might do that for you too. I think I want to send some for your doggies, the little treats for them, and tell them they came from me. So I think I will. I think I'm going to send you like dog, little dog bones, and you can give them to your little doggies. See what they think of my dog bones. I have to make some though. Um, and I was planning on making some anyways. So we'll see. Maybe in the next couple of days. Like, I'm not going to be on here. So. I'm going to work behind the lines and maybe I'll make some dog bones. All right. This one got a little bit sticky because I put my finger on it. I feel like I got to sand it down. I don't like this one. All right. Let it dry good. Here comes the blow dryer again. So I can put another coat on this. Do you have a dog too? I, I I was talking to Lisa, but you have a dog too, Christina. I'm going to fix that up. It's going to be okay. You do? Okay. I'll send her a bone. I'll send a bone to you. Oh, she's a baby. She's a two and a half pound... Uh, oh, okay, she's a little too. All right, I make some little teeny bones then. All right, Lisa's got some big dogs. Yeah. 
Yeah. How am I going to show me this? Um, you want? I can't show them on this kind of live stream, but you can send it to me to the email, um, and I'll talk about it. But I can't show it because you know I'm, I don't. I, if I was on OBS, I wouldn't hesitate to show your lamp. But I'm only on uh, live normal live stream, so I can't do the picture. But you can send it to me. Yeah, absolutely. And I'll show it out another day, maybe. If you remind me. Okay, I can. Uh, See what you did in one minute. Okay. There we go. Let's this set sit there for a minute. Uh, you will like it, I think. Okay, I'm sure you are very talented. I'm sure. Okay, I gotta see if I got do. Okay, I got Mike's thing. <laughs> Oh, Mike. All right. Where is, what else I got? I got, uh, okay. I don't have any, I don't have anything to you, Lisa. I don't have anything on your Facebook. I don't see anything. You would have to get connected with me. And okay. And let me go to my email right now and see. All right. Uh, Gmail. Oops. What's going on? Uh, there we go. Um, wow. Oh my God. That's amazing. Oh my goodness. God, you're a talented guy. I wish I could show him. It's a rocket ship and the light part is the bottom is the light part that you did. a Well, that looks fantastic. I know you have two pictures. So let me go back to. Uh, see the, the that was are they the same picture? Yeah, I think they're kind of the same. But nice, good job. That didn't even take you that long to do this. Very impressive. That's great. Making sure I see. Yeah, I want to make sure I see them both. So one is uh, on the table, and let's see, the same position, same picture, maybe. Yeah, pretty close to the same picture. Okay. Wow. Oh, wow. You did an awesome job on the lamp. Awesome job. Um, Lisa says, hi. Oh, Bill sent me a picture. He has a 3D printer and he's working with it and fooling around with it. So he made a lamp that looks like um, a rocket ship. That is really cool. That is very, very cool. It's well done. Yeah, I like it a lot. Um, I can't, I wish I could show it, but I can't, I have to almost come on another way to show it like OBS and, uh, but I'll try it. I'll come on another time and I'll, I'll, I'll try to keep it. I'll keep it for a bit. I have to empty. I have so many mail stuff, but, um, you see, see you soon have to fly. Okay. We'll see you later, Lace. Make sure I get on Facebook. I don't have you connected yet. Make sure you, you do that. Yeah. Make sure you and Christina have to connect with me. On Facebook. So are you going to, that lamp, is that for you? Or are you going to uh, sell them or what? What are you going to do with that? Bill, are you going to, you going to sell those lamps? You should see it, Mike. It's really nice. I can't, it's not on there though. I can't accept it because there's not, no request to me. At least I have nothing. There is nothing saying that we're requesting each other at all. I don't, I look and there's no notification you asking me. Are you sure you got my email? You guys going on the right email? Because it's Nana's Cooking Craft Corner at gmail.com. It's the same name of the channel, gmail.com. And there's no notification from you or Christina yet on that Facebook. So don't you go do the dogs and we'll, I'll make sure at least I get your address soon enough. I'll get it. Soon. Uh, wait a minute. Okay, you want to take that off after you can. I'll try to find you. All right, let me see if I can find you. Lisa, you, wait a minute. Yumo? Lisa Yumo? Okay. Wait, I'm making sure. And then you can take that off. L-I-S, Lisa. Uh, okay, you too. Why you... 
M U L. Yeah. Take here. Let's delete that so that your name, if that's actually your name, I don't want it on my channel for your safety. Uh, I can't, can somebody take that off for me? Oh, she's a mod. She can't, I can't take it off. How do I do that? How can I take her thing off? At least, why don't you take it off? You said it's, uh, correct. yeah, you want to take it off? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Then I feel better. I don't want you leaving it on. I don't want to have any issues with you on my channel. So, um, there you go. Perfect. We'll do the dogs. And if you're not back, um, I'll see it. I'll talk to you soon. You know, I'll be on, on soon. I'm not coming out tomorrow. Tomorrow's Tuesday. I'll be back Wednesday for sure. At around three. Okay. Yeah, you got, okay. So that's what I'll say. There, look, they get a little flexible. But I want to come around and just tip all this, the sides of this. Mike, are you still here? And did you tell me you're going to sell your stuff? Um, Bill, did you say what, what you're going to do? Too much work to sell it. Okay, too much work to sell it. Okay, gotcha. I do like it, though. I think it's a, a great gift. Um, that's good. Yeah, I love it. I like the fact if if you it's a beautiful thing and it, it's like made if you like ordered it and make it for somebody else. Yeah, I'm still here. Did you go but you didn't go back to doing your lamps or your lamps, your clocks? Got lamps on the brain now. Oh, I, oh, I said some, oh, you're going to sell it, but you said too much work. Uh, and then I missed that. Oh, I said, you, I said about selling it and you said, no, it's too much work. I said, uh, but I said, it's too bad. Cause it's a really cool thing for to make for somebody special that likes that stuff. Yeah. That's what I was going to say. It's a nice thing to make for somebody. I think it's cool. Yes, it's, it's cool. I think you should get going on that and you can make some unique things. I mean, seriously, if you get practicing all, all you know, I will hook you up. Well, if anybody wants something or you can make something for them, uh, when now that you have the, the printer, you can make it. Let's say if somebody's look, looking for specific hinges or anything, um, and they can't find it, you can actually make them up for them. So that, I think that's a cool thing. How much you think it's worth? Um, it took 50 hours to print. Oh God, huh? 50 hours. Um, did you do a video on your, he, he should, Mike, you should see it. It's really nice. Yeah. Why don't you do a video and, uh, maybe Mike, after he sees your video, he can see what he thinks too. Cause he sells clocks. He knows prices more than I know prices. He knows how much to sell a clock. And I think um, if you do a video, it'd be cool. Yeah, do a video on the stuff you make. And maybe somebody's going to be interested. And if they are, you need to know some prices. I'm bad at prices, though. I would tell you how much, but I'm so bad when it comes to telling how to sell something. So, But I think Mike's kind of your man. Hey, Mike, you could kind of give him a rough idea how much you think it'd be worth. Yeah, okay, do a video tomorrow. And then um, that's that's what I think. I think it's a good idea. I'm just I'll be right back. I gotta rinse my paintbrush off. Okay, okay, or I can upload one and have it on private. 
One minute. Yeah, okay, go ahead. Do that and then, then put the link in here if you want. Okay, it's time to do some gluing here. Let's see what I can get done. Oh, are you kidding me? Is this still on? I thought it wasn't on. Oh, this is good. Okay. All right. I don't know how to do this one. All right. You know, cuckoo clocks, I, I, you might have a, a wild guess of what you think. If you don't know, you just have to say you don't know. I, I would assume, Mike, that's what my answer is to you. I don't know about pricing of things. Like like I said, I'm bad at that, so. So get this looking right. Hey, I was gonna bug you. To, ah, loading now. Okay, there you go. Did you get that from a pattern or did you make up the pattern for your uh, lamp there, Bill? Did you make it up or um, is it a pattern you took somewhere? Trim it. I don't like it. Yeah, close enough. Just one more. Chinky, 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 chinky. There you go, Mike. It's we put you on the spot. I might, this is done differently. I'm going to make these a little different than the ones I did before. I like, oh, let's see if I can put this on here.
It's about three foot high. Thank you. We'll put the date on it too, the year. Oh, wait a minute. I had to go feel the critters. If you're talking about the lamp, but if you're talking about Nana, she may like that too. <laughs> uh, that's true. I don't know who you're talking about. It's okay. Well, we both thank her anyways, no matter what. Okay. Uh, that is cool lamp. Hard to see on a video, but the light light might need to be brighter to be called a lamp. For the collectors of space stuff, I would think this would, would sell maybe 65 or so. Okay. Well, that's an idea anyways, if he wants to uh, do it, if he wants to do it, I guess, right? That's okay. That's fair price, but I don't think I'm gonna going to sell it. Okay. Thanks for uh, looking at that and giving your advice there, Mike. That's appreciated. Uh, thanks, man. My typos are so suck. <laughs> it's all right. It's okay. All right. It's the same as my cuckoo clocks. Not everybody wants one. Just the collectors. Yeah. That makes sense. Let 
makes total sense. Well, I'm going to get some good sleep, but I why does it feel like it's only 11 o'clock and I feel like uh, it's way later than that for some reason. I don't know. I feel like it's later than that. Let's put that on the way over here. Well, would you? That clocks are that those clocks are so cool though. I would like to restore one myself. Yeah, you should try it if you want to do one. You should try it. Right, Mike, what do you think? You're the expert, but uh he can always ask. Well, I'm I i do not want to volunteer, Mike, but I'm pretty sure Mike is very good to everybody to ask. Hey, Rach. He's pretty good to, to everybody to ask. I'm going to make a hole right here. So I'm going to put I. Um, how many letters are Jesus? Okay, S is in the center. I don't know if I can get it bigger. You know, that was a little hard to do. Not perfect, but uh, it is what it is. Start with the cheap cuckoo clock. There you go. Thank you. Thanks. I'm going to fix this one up, too, so that I can move it. Well, I wish I'd hurt through different colors. I miss Grandma's cuckoo clock. Sorry. Oh, yeah, I may sometimes, Mike. I, it looks... Half frustrating, but you make it so re relaxing to watch. Um, start with a cheap poop clock and just the bird and and no music. It would be easy to repair then. Well, that's a good one if you want to uh, start with that. Would you want to start with that? There it is in base since you like it so much. Oh. Uh, they're kind of dark. Hey, maybe I'll make a dark one. Hmm. You know what? I think I like that better than the other one. Oh, there you go. That would be kind of cool. Get print a cuckoo clock. That would be kind of a cool idea. No, what? That actually, you think that's funny, but I think it that'd be a neat idea. See if you could print one. That's cool. 
Could you actually, are you joking? I could, you could probably print one. I think you could, you could pretty well print everything. What do you think, Mike? Wouldn't that be cool for him to print a cuckoo clock? Yeah. Yeah, it's not too late. I thought it was later than this. It's only 11 o'clock. Well, I have friends talking here. I have people here talking to me, so that's good. I have Rachel's Anybody here. Well, yeah, Bill Bill is here, and Mike is here, and, oh, and Bill. Say Bill. Bill's from, from uh, he's East Coast of Canada, and you know Mike likes Washington and Rachel's Coast, New Orleans. Canada? Yeah. Oh, cool. Oh. Where, where Bill? Nova Scotia? And... He's on the island. Oh, Chris Amber? Or... No, he's on Newfoundland. Newfoundland. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I was going to say that. He yeah. said, hi, Mr. Green. <laughs> he's calling you Mr. Green Thumb. Whoa! Yes. Hey, get out of there. Are you, getting also... man. Man. Are you eating something you're not supposed to have? What is she doing? What? Oh, she looks like she's eating something she's not supposed she's to have. She's got her bone. Oh, okay. Because she's right there. I don't want to get hurt. She's right under my feet almost. Uh, trucker man, I have my license as well. Just, okay, wait a minute. Um, I'm a newfie. I like how you put that. Mr. <laughs> Rachel's loving at that too. I think it's cute. I think it's cute. Um, not class okay so what does he say what did you say to him he's answering for someone said, trucker man trucker man i have my li license as well just random though is his license as well just random whatever that means to me i don't know but um he has well, it here it's a z for ontario i don't know what it's for it's actually i like oh wait a minute the yellow's really pretty here too uh, maybe not. What about the white? No, I don't know what that either. I kind of like, I don't know why, but I like the red on this one, even though I am. I'm going to put the red. I like it on that. Perfect. What do you think? Red's okay? Right here? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like it. Mike up to, too. What's Mike up to? Mike's up to taking a break from cook. Mike, she, he's asking me, he's talking to you guys, so you might as well take advantage because you know he really talks on here. So he's asking what, um, Okay, tandem, not random. <laughs> oh, tandem, no, that's tandem axle, yeah. Yeah, he said he has tandem, not random. I said it wrong, it's my fault. But, and then uh, what are you doing, Mike? If you're out there, you better ask Rachel something. She'll feel left out. She'll feel left out, Mr. Green Thumb. Huh? I said you better ask Rachel something because she'll feel left out. I have a class three in tandem, Class A traction, nine air brakes, and nine A air brakes with adjustments. Wow, you got a lot. Mike is cooking soup. Oh, well, that's okay. different, different here because A A's that is that I could drive, you know, tandem all the way to 53 foot trailer. Yeah, well, you're gonna have um and and drone license, he's saying is a drone license. Well, you don't have that. We got, want to, didn't we want to do drone though? Tell them that would have been fun. We can't Mr. Green Thumb, Mr. Green Thumb, Nana, <laughs> <laughs> she's laughing at that. Hey, trucker man, still getting the suit ready. Okay, well, he he obviously is in the mood. You can't, he can't, you, they can't see you, so you can look at read the screen if you want to talk to him. Like, well, I can't see the screen. Right there, can you see? Oh, you got it on the TV too. Yeah. Well, I wow. can't read that. I can't how long have how long I've been doing this for? Like I've been here for like how many hours? Four and, and days of doing this, and you're going, Oh, I didn't know it was on the screen. Jeez, yeah, Johnny. Well, I can't, I can't hang on a minute. I, I won't pick on you, my love, because then they're gonna think I'm so mean to you. So mm -hmm. I uh, I won't do that. Michael come back and, and kick me in the butt or something and say, How come you're being so mean to him? You always did. <laughs> You're full of shit. Excuse my language. I'm going to swear now. He's making me swear. Well, get your glass. Uh, no, I can't find the glass. I don't know where I left them. So get, well, get your glasses. That's what I you're don't saying. I know where I left them. Yeah, I think you're downstairs. I don't want to go downstairs. It's not me. 
I'm going to go back into my room anyway. Well, yeah, but you don't want to talk to them anymore? You had enough? They're talking to you. Here, you know what he does? He bores me. Here, wear my glasses. Well, I can't. I can't. Yes, you can. He bores my glasses all the time. But your head is bigger, so you stretch my glasses out. Okay, your well, don't wreck the TV. Look at you leaning on the TV. It's going to collapse. Well, it's, he's you're from, like a giant uh, man. Newfoundland Drone Productions. Yeah, that's his name. His name is Bill. Oh, okay. Like he's got leaning on the TV and it's going to the Leaning Tower Pizza. Got my glasses on. A good deal thing. Of the uh, three, which <laughs> is tandem. Oh uh, tandem uh, here on the island. Oh, yeah. And also drive highway tractor, just bobtailing. Oh, he, he does he does do semi. Like, right. Can I my glasses you just, uh, He's like um, like a five-ton truck with two two tandems on the back. Okay. Just like some and that, motor. You know that means a lot to me, right? Yeah, okay. Right. You know how much I I, I get on a truck and I drive all over. And it, it means as much as you as this TV to me. Yeah. Which I, I could drive 18 wheeler. So, oh my God, you hunk a man. You, <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, what a hunk a man. He can drive an 18 wheeler. Woo hoo. Look what I get married to. Wow. Just a hunk of hunk of burning love. Look at these lop too. Well, so now I'm leaving. <laughs> uh, so I'm getting, he's, now he's leaving. He's had to have, I drove them, but not legally. Okay, he said I drove them, but not legally. Um, he, well, I, I, I haven't drove them in years. Just around the yard. No, just drive a minivan. Oh, well, it's all right. Don't be embarrassed. I like my minivan. <laughs> or I should, okay, I'll put it this way because it's nice. I like our minivan. That's worded much nicely because we share. Not always, but we're sharing today. Sharing screens, sharing glasses, freaking, we're sharing everything. Want to give me a sip? <laughs> no. Oh, yeah. So you're not sharing for me. I share everything for you. That's what I thought. Trucker man drove an 18 wheeler. Oh yeah, he was. He did when he did the RV and everything. When people met him, reach, um, they would tease him. That's you know how we got trucker man, don't you? I can see Nana splitting gears. <laughs> Maybe, but hey. Hey, I do know how to do. I do know how to do a, a four speed, four and five like the speeds. I know how to do a car. He's saying I can see me splitting gears and, and probably could if I didn't drive. But you you ask him. He knows I know how to do a stick shift, but not truck. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Because that's how I met you. You hunk of burning love. <laughs> I'm gonna kill him. I think I'm all this romantic stuff because I'm doing this Halloween thing. It must be going to my Halloween Halloween Valentine stuff. It must be going to my head. Oh God! You remind me. You know how we laughed at that butt about, um, <laughs> but about, but about. You know that. You know Jim. That one where it says like he was standing there and, and r rolling his stomach. Um, Jim Belushi on that series. Oh. And and he was like rolling his stomach and she's yeah that's my hunk of man all right. That's a hunk of hunk of hunk of man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm killing myself. You meet him driving truck? No, I met him actually in the military. That's how I, I met him, um, Rachel. I met him in the military. Of course, I was higher ranked than him. <laughs> See, that's that's the right way to be. I'm just kidding. I was higher ranked than him. So get the heck out of here. In the Navy. I want to sing a song now. You can sail the seven seas in the Navy. Well, I can wake up everybody the in the house right now. No, I know we're Army. Um, yeah, but there was nothing. Yeah, he was in the military too. I met him, yeah. Yeah, actually, what happened was I was there before him years before. Then he joined, right? You you can be my witness because you're staring at me anyways. So then you joined, and then after you got out to join the reg force, and then you came back in, and then that's when I met him where he, 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 we came back in. But actually, do you want to know the love romance of him? You're going to love this. <laughs> Come on. Now, the guys are going to probably vomit, but the women might think it's cute. Um, he was a strict man. 
No, he's not a strict man. Yeah, a strict man. Oh. No, you weren't. He said he was a, a he might be a stiff man right now, but he's not a strict man. <laughs> He's pretty stiff now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm killing myself. Sorry. You did it to me. It's late. What can I say? That for you, your service, trucker man, even though you was in Canada. Uh, wait a minute. Thank you for your, that's what she's saying. Could you put, oh, thank, thank you for your service, service trucker man. Yeah. They, they're, people from the States are so nice when it comes to, when you mention you have ex-military, they're very nice about it. No matter where you come from. So thanks, Rachel. That's very sweet. Well, I trained with them, them guys over there. Oh, well, thanks, Bill. See, I was see? in Fort Hood, Texas. And yeah. Oh, anyways, Fort let me Fred, tell, tell you. Okay, you're back. Anyways, I just want to tell you that actually, Rachel, he drove up with his. With the tank. Yeah, his tank to meet me when I was. Uh, he When he went rank force and I was still in the reserves and I was doing a. I had to go away for um, an exercise. He came back years later and he drove up and came to see me in his tank. <laughs> what a tank. Isn't that, isn't that cute? Everyone said, oh, what a cute little story. I don't know. It's, it was cute then. I don't know about now, but it's cute. It's cute. It's cute. Wait, let me see. Yeah, I like that one too. That's a good one. Uh, thank you, Dad, for his service. Wait, thank you, Dad, for his service, Newfound, even though he was in Canadian, too. Well, thank you. Yes, they, that's very sweet. Tank, oh, yeah, that's what he, he did. He came up in a tank, and uh, I don't know, maybe some people would think that. They did think before when I had said it, they thought it was kind of romantic, but I don't know. But I guess it is. I'm not the mushy type always anyways. I don't think I was. I think it was cute, but it was like, oh, that's so sweet. Okay, thanks. <laughs> no, I wasn't that bad. Uh, <sighs> Rachel says, I respect military. She's talking to Bill. Oh, he's passed away since. God bless. All right. Yay. Look at that. I don't know what I want to put on this one, though. What am I going to put on this one? Uh, you got puppy love, hugs. Yeah, I, did, I don't know what else you want. Mine, I love you. Uh, did, did I put cutie on there? We got sweet, not sweetie. Yeah, but no, they, they put sweet and they put kisses and stuff like that. Uh, they would take a bill to belt to us that's a hero in my mind and goes to our men in the blue as well they would take a oh bullet okay the bigger ones always get the women what <laughs> <laughs> mike he said the bigger one oh but the bigger ones always get the women good idea driving up in a tank <laughs> I think it's funny. I, I either it's late or it's extremely funny. I think it's funny too. I don't know. I get a little giddy when it's getting late. You had a big gun on it too. <laughs> oh, stop bragging. Stop bragging. Oh my god. Stop bragging. I'm a witness, you know. Um, all right, I gotta make some holes, but I don't know what I want to put on this one. What I want a generic, so if, if what would I put on here? Hugs and kisses is cute, but I already have that one. Uh, they got tweet me, text me, I love you. Let's uh, gal pal, number love, number love. Oh, she, are you laughing at, are you laughing at him? Trucker man, he's, he's laughing. Um, yeah, because him and his bragging. Sure. I like that he. 
I don't know why. It, 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 I shouldn't be saying this in front of one of you guys, but I just didn't think it. I'm bragging about how he has a big gun. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Where is this channel going to? Uh, email me. Okay, wait a minute. Uh, trucker man, you should have <laughs> put e Oh, email me. Oh, you want email on here? You think that's cute? A 50 cal. Let's see. Um, when I want a trucker man, you should have rolled up and sa said, Hey, lady, go on my way. <laughs> Jeez, you guys are cute. Uh, and you think I should put on here email? Email me. I can't stop laughing. So, you think email me is on here is a cute one? Email me. Well, that's probably the name of it. No, she wanted me to put, uh, I'm going to have to do some more of these. They're almost too fun. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm going to keep my thing. In. Why are you, are you making coffee? I almost feel like I should have coffee now. Um, I'm going to put that on here. Email me. But I feel like I should make some more of these. I kind of am having fun. <sighs> okay. I think just for this one, I'm just going to put... Uh, the love, love connection, just love. Number love. Yeah, that's cute. I got I got messages. I can put all them down. I'm having a lot of fun. I didn't think I wanted to make any more, but obviously uh, I'm enjoying doing these for sure. They're cute. I thought, oh, I don't want to do any more. I've done too many, but... Uh, it's amusing me. All right. Um, love. Did you say love potato? What? I love potent number nine. Oh, however you spell it. Love. What is that? Love. I don't think we're saying love potent. <laughs> love potent. You potent me. You potent me. Text me. Yeah, I got that one. I already here. Look at. I got. Uh, oh no, I don't. No, I got text me. I got X and O. I love you. Kisses sweet. Tweet me. Text me. Hug. Hugs. Hug me. Puppy love. Number love. Letting. Let's hang. Cutie. Gal pal. Email me. And uh, yeah, that's the ones I got so far. Love potion. Oh, that's cute. Oh, I'll write that down. Well, I'm gonna have to send you that one, Bill. <laughs> I'm going to have to send Bill that one. Love potion number nine. Wouldn't you be embarrassed? I'll send that one in the mail. There you go. It's on there. I might I might have to make you one and send you one. Oh, that's hilarious. Uh, I do not. I just wish I had... Um, yeah, I'll put just one. That's good. All right. I gotta make call. She says I can't stop laughing. I'm good. Glad. Okay, this is the fun part. I do not enjoy this, and I'm being sarcastic to try to make this line up and try to make a hole in the center with this darn gadget thing. Oh my god, it's hard to make the hole. I kind of leave the dot here. And I'm gonna and I put it here. And when I go to make the hole, I cannot barely see. And I have my glasses on to put this right where the hole is. And God, that's hard. Now I'm going to try to see. It always goes a little bit crooked. But if it's crooked, it's crooked. It's it. All she wrote. Then I watch out for your. Well, my fingers aren't really in the way at all. Not really. If you saw where I this thing was coming out, they're nowhere near. Where is the damn thing? I can't see it. Oh, there it is. Went there. Try not to put a hole in it until I see it. Um, uh, right. A little more over. Let's try. Yay! Did I, oh, it's not bad. I did pretty good on this one. That is good. Good job. 
Yay! Yeah, I, 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 I did it. I did it. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I did it. Well, that was freaking hard to do. And I lined it up pretty amazingly good. I don't brag very much, honestly. But that was hard. Uh, you know what? I want them holes. They have uh, the cartoon. They lay down on the ground and the poor sucker falls down the hole. What is that? Uh, cats the, the bum? What? I am really... <laughs> this is a machine. It's called a cricket. If you're asking me, Rach, if you're asking, he can answer that. Bill, him and his cat bum. I'm not sure what he's talking about. But this is for um, granites, 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 something like that. Something like granites. Uh, Bragging, you sure you're using the word hurdle? <laughs> <laughs> I gotta stop it. I got the giggles too much. That's killing me. Kids are killing me. It's too funny. <laughs> uh, where is it? There? See, it's doing it again. <laughs> I can't even find where. Uh, where are you? Where are you? You're right there. How come I don't see it? What I have to do to make holes. Oh, okay. Yeah, never saw that before. Oh, no problem. I'm glad you asked. I like answering questions. Not a problem at all. Where is it? Oh, there it is. I finally saw it. I'm trying to go slow. So I make it the right spot. Is it there? There. Yeah. Okay. Take it easy. I don't want to rip this card. There. I did it. it. takes a while to do. I can't freaking... I have such a hard time finding it. Nana, hold back of the handle, not right up by the punch. You will get more power into it. <laughs> I No, it's because I... Look. I want to show you. Look. It's not the power. I don't have a problem punching the hole. Look. I have a hard time lining the darn thing up. Look. You're looking for this thing right here. Right, let's see. Right there, look. Right there. That I gotta line up, and it's kind of almost invisible for me to see. So it's not the, the punching doesn't hurt me. It, that's not the issue. It's the fact of trying to find the hole. And that's another story. Oh my granite nana, what is the, the for that scares me? What my god nana, what is that for? That scares me. Look, stay, it, this isn't dangerous. No, 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 it's not dangerous. It's not dangerous. It's just, the, I wish it was the opposite way, the way they make me do it. Make me doing it. Make me doing it. Make me doing it. Yeah. Where is it? Oh, it's way up there. What are you doing? There. Perfect. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, close enough. It's close to the edge, but it'll work. All right. It's close enough to the edge. Yay. I did it. That's the worst part of this job, doing the holes. It looks like it looks like Edward Scissor. <laughs> I know. It looks like a really tough guy today, but it just does grommets. And let me find the color grommet I need. Um, what color are we going to use? Let's see. Where did I put them? I have a little pack here. Oh, then you're going to get them. Okay. It's it's an ear pierce. It's an ear pierce. <laughs> That's going to hurt your ear for sure. All right. I have a glue to put that other one. All right, so I'm gonna put. Let's see, I have pink ones. Pink right here looks good. Pink or white? You want pink or white? Pink or white? There, Christina. I got pink. Pink looks cute. I think I'll put pink. I guess you don't get a choice. I'm putting it on anyways. Pink or white? Nope, get no choice. 
I have a red one. I wonder if that would look cool. No, I don't like that one. I think I'll give her pink is cute. Hey, pinks. Got white. No, I actually like the pink color on this one. Or maybe blue. Oh, maybe blue. Do I like blue on that? You know what? I think I'm going to put blue. What the heck? I have nothing to lose. I'm going to put blue. Pinky. Yeah, I got pink, pink. And I'm going to put blue on this one. Is there a different color blue? Let's see. Maybe a, a different color blue I like better. Nope, it's the same color blue. I got all kinds of colors in here. Let's see. Hi, I think I'm gonna. It's kind of a dark blue. Maybe I won't. I don't think pink. I don't know. I can't make up my mind yet. Pink is cute, though. Here's a lighter pink. Let's try that. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. I got it. You guys can, uh, oh, I thought it was, what did you, I thought, I. oh, I thought you was Rose. Uh, my old man's name was Christina. My own, no, my old name. <laughs> I'm getting tired. Uh, it's my old man. My old name was Christina. And I'm calling you old man. I thought she, my old man was Christina. What? I'm missing something here. I am definitely missing something. It's getting late. And the party is going past me. Okay, where are you? Oh, I dropped it. No! Try it again. Uh... All right. I'm no would you let's go all tell the stories. Want me to tell the stories of how I met everybody? Here's a story of a name. So we know Newfoundland. Actually, Newfoundland, you're the only one that was the newest one. And, and why am I forgetting where I know you? Christina was um I met Christina a long time ago. I met I met Christina. Was you know I have to make you laugh, okay? Actually, I think I known her before Rachel. Um, I'm joking. Wait a minute. I'm wait a minute. I'm Bill, but not. Don't get check out my channel. It's no good. Oh, your channel's good. So you're around too much glue, maybe. So what? <laughs> what I was gonna say was yeah. Actually, it was kind of funny when I first did my channel, Mrs. Green Thumb, and I was trying to get my hours to get monetized. I, that's how I'm saying it. Christina was, um, to try to help me with the hours. She hung around with me with my, she met my daughter and she started hanging around my daughter, um, in the channel and I had to take off for a while. And so her and my daughter stayed. Oh yeah. He's a very beautiful and cool channel. Absolutely. He does. Yeah. He's just joking. He knows it's good. He better know it's good. Better knows what's good for him. So yeah, her and my daughter stayed in there, hanging in there for me. And then Rachel came a, a little bit after that. And then you came a while after that. Where did I meet you? From a Jones channel? You know, Bill, I don't even remember how I met you. That's pretty bad. I'm sorry. But where did, where did we start meeting each other? It's been a long time too. So where did I... Where did I get to know... Bill? It, it was on the other channel. I know that. I met you on Mrs. Greentham. I think, and uh, that's all I'll, I'll say that. I met you on the other channel. Where's my, where's my string? Where did I go? Where's my white string? Okay, that's not it. Where's my string? Might as well clean up to find what I need. Where's my white one? Oh, here it is, I got it, okay. Uh, Roger's channel. 
Oh, the drone channel. Is that how I knew you met you from the drone Rogers channel? Like the Canadian drone Roger. Is that what we're talking about? Val, Val, Val. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. I don't, yeah, I don't see him on too much. And once in a while I go to see, um, I go to Roger's channel sometimes. I didn't think it was that, that I met you from there. I didn't think that was it. But it could have been. Yeah, it could have been. Makes sense because you you would hang out with the drone channels. Let me see. Is this long enough? That, that looks like a long enough string. So this time I'm going to get smart here. And I'm going to cut three of them. And I'm not going to go through doing this uh, game of measuring. I'm going to have three the same size, and then I don't have to worry about cutting it. <clears throat> I made, wait, I made Mrs. Green Thumb in my sim game, and she is permanent fixture of my game. Yeah, I, that was fun. I thought it was this one too, but it was the other one. It was the other one then we met, um, and you, yeah. But you didn't have me in this one, right? I thought you did. You made a restaurant and everything for me. I thought you have one in this name because I had a restaurant and then you were going to make a garden one or something, I think. Don't you have this name? Because I thought I had restaurants and I was doing really well. It's too bad in real life I didn't do well and I could have made lots of money because I do really well in the restaurant and her Sims. Yeah, her Sims thing was fun. It was a fun time. I had a lot of fun in there. And she hasn't been feeling good, so it's kind of nice to see her back, right? We've been friends over uh, off and on through the years. Well, we're friends, but I'm just saying you were sick for a while. A couple of times you were sick for a while. We didn't see you for a while. But she wasn't feeling too good lately. But we used to hang. We did used to hang. Like everybody, you know, you hang for a while, and then you come back and off and on and that's kind of what I do too. So I get it. Uh, let's see. Okay. So I'm doing pretty good. Yeah, I have a cook. Uh, yeah, yeah, I have a cook. Because I knew you made a cook one. For this channel, you made me a cook at a restaurant or something. Did you have, guys ever play Sims? Um, I know it's out of style now, but I think it was always a cool game. Um, her... I'm trying, wait a minute, you're trying to remember her name? I, I'm i trying to remember her name. Yeah, it's been a few years. It's off and on. It's not, a, like I said, it's a big deal. Some people going off and then I'm seeing later on, I see them come back after. Um, and you're always welcome back. If, even if I don't see you for years, you can always come back and visit. It's okay with me. Here we got a hug. That's looking pretty cool. Pretty cool. There it is. And we got a little hugs on the back. Um, Wendy. Wendy comes off and on. I just saw Wendy the other day. You're talking about Wendy's the one. Yeah, Wendy's working a lot of hours, so uh, I don't see Wendy too much. But if I stay late enough, she might pop in because it's going to be, uh, they got like five, six hours difference than I do. You missed her British accent? Yeah. She did talk. She talked to me and, and Mike sometimes when I did stream yards. Yeah. Wendy's a, Wendy's really sweet. Yeah. The lovely Wendy. Yep. Wendy's a very sweet person. She really is a sweet person. And the only reason she's really busy. So that's why she's not here most of the time. She's working a lot. And uh, I don't want to bug her. But I did talk to her. I talked to her off and on. I haven't for a while. But she was in the other day. She came while I was, I don't know what I, I don't, was I cooking? I don't know if I was cooking or crafting or whatever she came in. And the lawnmower man, who's that? 
And the lawnmower. I don't remember the lawnmower man. The lawnmower man. I'm not sure who we're talking about. The lawnmower man. All right. I have to. I wanted to mosh posh these to get a little bit of a nice shiny coat. So let's not spill it on my computer. Ugh. That was fun. I spilt it all over my computer. Oh, shoot. I forgot. I, I know what I forgot to do. I got a. Uh, oh. I unplugged the TV. And I don't see no conversation. Yeah, that's a good one. Oh, wrong plug. I plugged my TV off, so now I can't even see you talking at all. Oh, okay. Let's see. Oh, come on. My TV's off. Turn it off. Oh, shit. The TV. Hang on a minute. I got this all screwed up now because I got the TV unplugged. So I can't see you guys typing. And I want to unplug my blue scope. It's like, oh, that's too dangerous being left on. So let's get. Ooh. You guys still there? I think you are. Just uh, a hair dryer. No, it's better. Oh, I see. Okay. He raced lawn. Wait. He oh, um, he raced lawnmowers. That's uh, Eric. Yeah, it's it's Eric. His name is. He uses to go on the panel too. No, Eric never came on our panel. It's not Eric, Mike. I'm not sure who that is because um, Eric never really came on talking to me. I know what I'll do. I'll, I'll do this side first. Yeah, well, I have to go. I will try to get back before the stream is over. No, that's not him. Yeah, I don't know who we're talking about. I'm not sure, Rich. I don't know. I think that's the only one I know is Eric, and um, I don't know who else was a lawnmower thing. No, that's not him. Lawnmower guy. Hmm. Yeah. Yep, yeah, we'll see you later, Bill. Good night. Good night. God bless, for sure. Keep safe out there. Oh, by the way, I didn't tell you. I wanted to film it. We had a really bad snowstorm today. Maybe you would have liked it, Rachel. It had so much snow today that, that I woke up to everything white, all the all the houses across the street, all the ground, and it was still snowing all day. Not my cup of tea, but I know you like it. So landscape. Oh, Nick. Nick. She's talking about Nick. That's it. It's Nick. And Nick came in for the long. It's Nick. <laughs> Nick is from Wales. Yes. Now it makes sense. We're talking about Nick. No, he's from Wales. I know you're behind, but it's you're talking about Nick, who's from Wales. And I have seen him the other day. I don't, he didn't stay long around my channel, but he had to come to visit and said hi. Um, so it's, yeah, it's Nick Wales. Nick was, what, I forget what Nick's name was on there, but then he, he has a landscaping business. And so now he comes on and I always forget that it's him because of his landscaping business. Yeah. Yeah. He was here yesterday. He was here. He didn't stay long though, Rach. He was like, uh, I mean, I was crafting. It's not his thing anyways, but, um. He, I, he, gave, he donated me a couple dollars and said hi. And I went senile and forgot who it was because his channel screws me up all the time. I keep forgetting it's a garden channel. So I don't know. So let's be careful of the Maj Paj. Let's me be careful so I don't spill it all over my computer again. Hmm.
I don't know. I never asked him that. I wish you were here because I know you probably would have asked him um, that question, Mike. But I don't. I don't know. I really. He was here for a second, and like I said, I forget half the time. I'm forgetting it because I'm so used to him knowing him by Nick. And when he comes into his landscaping business, you know me. You know me. And I do the same thing every time he comes in because I forget at the time um, his his channel. So like he came. And he said he was he, he might come back and he didn't come back, but yeah. Yeah, I was going to say, um, I don't know if he still has the birds. I don't know. If he comes back, hopefully you guys, if you're around or something, you can ask him. Or if I remember, I'll ask him. I mean, oh shoot, it's supposed to stay right there, stay. I might have to finish this off tomorrow because um, I want a couple coats on both sides of this to finish it. And I want to coat all the other ones too tomorrow. So let's see. All right, let's see what that be. <sighs> let's see. I gotta. I wanted to dry this more, but I'm gonna plug it in. And I, I only have two plugs here, so I actually have to use the extension cord when I'm plugging things in. Uh, I wish I wish I had something better connected here for me, but it's not like I'm using a hair dryer all the time. So what, what's tomorrow? Tomorrow is Monday. So what's everybody doing tomorrow? Rich, you got to go to school, don't you? Are you teaching tomorrow? Mike, it's eight or nine for you. Why is it turning on? Oh, I'm going to reset the machine. Oh, is Are you going to work? What are you guys doing, Mike? I'm bringing uh, the wood on my kitchen clock now, are you? Okay, cool. Can you hear me or? Everyone said it was okay. I don't know if you can hear me or not. It's just faster for me to dry this up if I do this, so. Anybody watch Netflix? What are you what are you saying? <laughs> I don't know, not too much. I know for some reason I get up. Uh, you, you get five or six. You never used to because when I live stream, you would be, let me see, seven o'clock is normally when you would be up. Are you sure you're not messing around with her saying you get up that early? Thank you. 
I get up at five, but not on the weekends. What time do you get up on the weekend? God, five. Good. Oh, thank you. Five o'clock is too early for me, Rach. Did you? I didn't know if you said you were. You're not big, but I, I didn't know if you said you were trying to lose weight or not lose weight, or you watch what you eat, Rachel. Um, I'm really trying to, to find some. Oh, a couple questions. I'm really trying to. I'm going to design this for um, my recipes for one week to be nice tasting, but to try to lose weight with the recipes I kind of create. Um, that's what I'm working on, actually. I'm going to do some desserts and everything else, but. There'll be a time when I get my act together and I'm going to have, I'm going to try creating like some kind of weight, weight loss thing for the, the meals. Uh, nine and 10, that's if I don't have to, okay, nine and 10. It might, but were you serious that you, uh, that the t-shirt was nice she made, right? Didn't you think it was nice? A nice t-shirt that Miss Southern Bell made? I really did. I, I liked it. Like I'm not bragging to say it looked great on me, but. I really like the colors on it, um, and I was happy I wore it. Yeah, I'm on a diet. I lost 10 pounds so far. Like, yeah, but you're not really big anyway, so. But I'm trying to find some recipes. Um, well, you know, you've heard it already. I keep repeating it, but I'm going to. I am bound and determined to figure out the calorie portions of what I make. You count your calories? Yeah. How many is, okay, but it, it depends on, I think it depends on your age and your height, right? How much you actually, how many calories you should have. Like, because you can't just, if you weigh heavier, you can't just cut it down. You could actually be sick from that. You're not big. Listen to you. You're not big. Get lost. I know you. I've seen you. I talked to you. You're not big. Knock it off. You're not big. We'll have a. I'm gonna get have a talk to you about big after you're off of this live stream. I'll tell you. That's what I'll, we'll have a big talk on that, young lady. Um, your height and age. I think the colors looking great and look like uh, cool gloves yeah i like it i thought yeah um what do you got the colors looked great and look like a night cool blouse hey everyone i have some things to do before i go to bed so i would like to tell you good night and god bless you too mike thanks honey thanks thanks for joining me you know where to find me if you can come if you're but i know you start your clock so i get it like, you know, I'm going to be here Wednesday at three. Uh, if you want to go, to, but I know for you guys, some of you are probably, you're going to be in school and uh, Mike's doing his, just getting into his clock. So I get it. But I really am getting excited about it. Getting excited to try to get my recipes done. Um, I, I hope, I'll cross my fingers. All right, I'm going to. I think I'm going to let this go overnight. I'm going to do probably a couple more coats tomorrow, but I want it high. Then they'll be all nice and neat. It's off a little, but it still looks cool. <sighs> Let's see. I'll clean up all my mess tomorrow. I got a couple days, or I got all tomorrow, and then I'll come back. Um, and you're going to be in school when I come back. But three. All right. This is uh this is a close-up of this says hugs on this one. 
And uh, let's see. The bottom. There's hugs. Oh, there's the right there's the hugs. And this one says, I love Jesus. And it's gonna dry them. And this one's love. Uh, they were fun. I gotta make some more, I think. I had a lot of fun, so I think I'm gonna keep my little paper and I might make some more. It was fun. It was fun, 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 as I chatted with you for five hours. So, you know, I had fun doing this. And then there's this one here, too. Great. I'll leave it there. I think it's me and you, Rach. I think I'm going to – I uh, love all of you guys, and um, – I don't know who's still here because I know Mike just left and you're here, but I think, I don't know if Christina's hanging in the back, but I think I'm going to say good night too. Um, I will see you guys. If you're not doing anything on Wednesday, I'm coming to do a cooking one, uh, the taco salad on Wednesday at 6 PM. And I probably come back. Maybe I might do some more of these. I really had a lot of fun talking to you guys and then I can do, get these done. So we'll see. Um, but I like crafting at night. So We'll see what I want to do. But thanks, uh, Rach, for coming, and Mike, and Christina. Yeah, that's what I was punching, the little ring around it. Yeah. Yeah. So, oh, I know what I got. We need to, I need to go to bed, too. Yeah, have a good night. Oh, I got another project, another crafting one I want to do. I'm thinking it's like just the circle, a big heart, but it stands up on a stick. And so you can use this just a little decoration. And I'm thinking that might be another one I'm going to do. If I got enough, uh, you have to use uh, corks. So, and I saw that on my friend Davida's channel. So I think I might do that. Yeah, you're welcome. Thanks. Bye. Have a good one. See you later, Christine. Don't forget the Facebook to look me up, okay? I'll make sure you, you get connected with me somehow on Facebook.